Maybe life? Hey, hey. I want to hear the excuse for late, Joe. I wasn't late. I, I told you guys I was going to start at 2. Um, I just I just omitted the 03 after the 2. So, you know, I didn't lie and I, and I didn't give a false statement. Oh, it's busted. Uh, so, um, I've been doing casino stuff uh, for the Q&A streams, and we have a lot of coins. So, I guess I guess we'll see the coins when we get into the game. Uh, what what the fuck are these things, chat? What are the intimacy events? Because I thought it was going to be the same things that we do in the Love Hotel, but you have to spend coins to unlock them, and, and, and not everyone's is here. It seems like only the people that we hung out with. But we didn't hang out with Mackie unless the Mackie one is, uh... No. Mackie isn't here. Oh, she is here. Is this from the Love Hotel? It's a simple uh, and statement A and B. Katie dropped everything and left, and Katie left the room. In order for the statement to be false, either A or B has to be false. Did Katie drop everything she was holding? Yes. We have no reason to claim that she didn't. Well, no, it's still, it's not drop, it's it's roll. So it is a lie. It's an outright lie. And unless you want to say that she can also admit that after she dropped it, she, she, she picked it up again and then she rolled it or she pushed it, but um, she didn't do that. She she rolled it right, so that that's a that's an outright lie. Never mind the fact that it's deliberately misleading. He's me. I it's 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 a it's Athena. It's Athena. Come on. It's Athena. Uh, so I'm really tired, so um, I just want to I just want to admit that right at the start. I'm really tired uh, I don't think we're gonna do all the love keys. I think we're just gonna push forward. Um, I have a lot of coins So I think we're gonna probably do um, We're just gonna do love key events later on or toward the end of the game or we'll, we'll, we'll slide some in here and there uh, Or we'll just get some keys as we go. I think it's gonna take too long to do all the love key events Especially because they're random. We will do one. If we do one now, then at least we've done one, right? Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Showtime. Showtime. One. Two. One. Uh, let me get my links out, and then we'll um, we'll look at fan art, and then we'll um, we'll get started properly. Ten percent of people eat the peel on orange oranges. So some people might be going for the meme answer, but I let's let's say it's half. Five percent out of about five thousand people that voted in the poll. That's a lot of people that eat the orange peel. I'm surprised. Do, 
So, uh, let's look at the uh, fan art, and then we will play play game. We'll play game. Whoops! I'm watching someone else's stream now. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, okay. We're fine. That was close. Gonna sneeze. is all that remains of a once powerful Ooh, yeah. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I have five fan arts. There are more than that. Let me go through. Before, before I do this, I just want to say to um, to Dengue and Rampa fans that um, I'm very proud of you. Um, that that shouldn't mean anything, and it may sound condescending, but still, I, I I'm I'm very proud of you. Um, the comments on the on the third YouTube um, recording that went up, which has the, the the first trial in it, and and you know, uh, I I say that I, I I'm not enjoying it anymore. Um, almost all of them have been constructive and actually arguing the point instead of um, saying fuck you Joe or this is just your opinion or why are you trying to present your opinion as objective fact or, and the usual horse shit. Um, uh, most people are arguing against what I'm saying. Uh, there are a decent amount of people that are like yeah I agree this, this, this thing is ruined but the people that are that are on the on the YouTube comments uh, that are disagreeing, not all of them. There are some people that they're just just slamming me and insulting me, and and but those are the rare ones. Uh, most of them are discussing the points and are presenting like even saying I agree with where you're coming from. I just disagree overall. You know, like they they, they they're able to see a different viewpoint even. You know, so um, yeah, good job. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud. Um, I'm gonna, I've read all the comments. I haven't replied to them all. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to reply to them all, unfortunately. So if you're someone who watches all the VODs and YouTubes and, and, and you're, and you're like, oh, God damn it, I wrote this whole thing out and he didn't reply. I did read it. I just can't reply to every single comment. Uh, some of them are actually pretty long. Um, yeah. So, well done. Well done. Maybe maybe the Dengarampa fan reputation uh, isn't as as well earned as uh, most people think. 
because uh, I don't remember that ever happening with another game when we've been like this. Uh, on YouTube, there were some people that were discussing Silent Hill 2 a bit better. So, and at the end of Silent Hill 2 on the stream, once we once we got past like the initial like two minute like meh, like after after that, the conversation got pretty good. Um, so I don't know. Like m maybe things are changing. M maybe we're maybe we're able to have more constructive conversations now. I don't know, but yeah. Well done. I wish I would read less comments until he finishes his blind playthrough. See, I can't win, man. No matter what I do, I can't win. Uh, if if the comment said um, spoilers, I didn't read it. So that that's that's the one um, uh, you know qualifier I should say. Uh, yeah, if it specifically said, hey, spoilers, I didn't read it. Because I'm a mage. All right, here's the first one. I haven't looked at any of these, so I have no idea what we're putting on the screen right now. Dangerous game. Number of coins. <laughs> oh, the first mono mono machine. I'm not addicted to chat. Well, you guys are gonna see how addicted I am when you see how many coins I have now from from the Q and A streams. Uh, let me. It's 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 more it's more than ten thousand. Let's put it that way. We have more than ten thousand coins now. <laughs> He's seeing coins. Okay. Let's see. All right, time to see what that love suite still has to offer. Oh, I hope I don't get a repeat. Oh, <gasps> waffles! Finally! <gasps> oh, Haru! Be be still, my beating Haru! Damn! I can't believe Haru turned out to be best girl. I can't believe it. After such a rocky introduction, she ended up being best girl. She's like the female Yusuke. Wait, what's that in the background right there? Is that a fucking whip? Some chains, a whip, some mask thing, and one of those like bondage X's? Oh damn, Haru, what are you into? See, best girl. Best girl. Oh, Haru. Let's see. Chat, chat, chat. Joseph Anderson, gambling master, 64. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Yeah, all, all, all the gambling. Uh, the coins are actually more than 20,000. More than 20,000. Uh, I don't know what this is from, unfortunately. And if I do, I've forgotten it. <laughs> Just want to say, pop in and say congrats to baby. Thanks, Red Rat. Thank you. If uh, anyone doesn't know, Lily's pregnant. So there's, there's no new baby yet, but yeah, Lily pregnant. Monster House? I haven't seen it. Reasons to live. <laughs> I have no reasons to live. What's in the background? Is that an Animu characters in, in, in test tubes? This is um this is the uh, we are number one right we are number one right is that that's what that is I recognize the 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 outfit but wh who's in the background is is that is that has that been changed or does it just kind of look like anime characters in the background number one. <laughs> <clears throat> the threshold of an amazing adventure. 
he hasn't completed this game before playing it. He hasn't read the plot synopsis to this game. <laughs> he experiences time in a in linear fashion. <laughs> I'm laughing too! <laughs> I love I love the subversion of like it's supposed to get more complicated as it goes on, and then it's no it's Danny. I'm laughing too. <laughs> Thanks, Wookie. Should we should we have a lol emote from Danganronpa? Should we have our own lol emote along with Pickle Nagito because it's just not going away. Pickle Nagito is not going away, as re as as seen by. Please don't forget, from the bottom of my heart, I am truly in love with the hope that sleeps inside you. <laughs> so fucking ridiculous, man. Why is it so funny? <laughs> I don't understand why it's funny. It just he just looks so fucking dumb. What the fuck? Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Showtime. Showtime. One. Fucking pick, pickle pickle Nagito. Here's more pickle Nigit. Oh no, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Oh wow, this is just a comic. What the hell? What's this? What's this love key for? It lets you become a time traveling serial rapist. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> Let's see what's behind door number one. <laughs> Monica was like, like staring, like, oh shit, he's going for it. Like, <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. You know? Okay, here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Right now, you're on the threshold of I hope everything's to your satisfaction. What the? Holy shit! This is lewd. This is lewd. All right. Is that sushi? We're eating ourselves? However, every time you use that power, or the, the, the hearts and the nose bleed. It's dripping down onto, this, onto the bottom part of the mouth. Die! <laughs> Dr. Lingard, you, you lied to me, Bear. I would never. I just didn't tell you about every minute detail. And that's why I'm never going to use an item in that game ever again. You need to let go of the past, Mr. Anderson. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Alright. Like meat, meat, meme soup here. All right, here's the whole thing again in case in case you missed it. Now it has a second meaning on the second read through. It's it's like, Poo, I can't believe you fell for it. There you go. Second meaning. Dr. Lingard. What was it called when memes transcend games? Like, goddamn, Eric. Goddamn. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, shit. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. 
Okay, I have to move the window down to get to the next one. So hopefully it works. Yeah, we did, okay. Oh no, it's backwards. Why is it back? Oh, I know why. That's weird it was backwards. Uh, playing an actual game for Q&A, spending an entire stream farming coins. Yeah, it's it's more it's more than 30,000. We have a lot of coins. We have a lot of coins. The, the, the Drake dragons here. There's no way we can play an actual game for Q&A. It, it wasn't bad just sitting there pressing Y for four hours. Do, 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 do. <laughs> we got a lot of coins. Uh, okay, let's let's do that one last. Bad touch. Oh no! <laughs> was was getting uh Himoko's love key scene the worst thing that's ever happened on stream for for just like like holy shit what are we doing in in the game like just fucking. Nah, like that was really bad. Uh, uh, no, no, best thing, no, no, never, ever, ever, no. All right, and here, last but not least. Allow me to pickle through those words. Oh shit! When you when you're into into pickle and chill, and he gives you this look. Oh man, it's just, it's just, it's just not going away. It's just not going away. Okay, let me do full screen and see if that this fixes it. This is an official announcement. Alright, there we go. Next. Oh, there's a couple more. There's three more. All right, let's do them now, and then, um, and then we'll. Uh, I, th I think we're gonna do fan art at the end of the streams, for now on. But uh, we didn't do it last time, so let's let's let's, uh, let's do these ones. We're just talking about this on Discord. Um, not yesterday, I think the day before. I can't remember. I don't know why it's important for me to always clarify when we were talking about on Discord when we were. Okay, there's three more. Uh, there's another lewd one. one. It's super, super, super lewd. Two. Let's just boil the frog until until Joe gets gets himself banned. Let me suck that mana right off you. Oh no! FBI, open the door. Oh no! <laughs> this is the police. The Lolly Police. Yep. Yep. Banned. Banned. Oh no, okay, um... What are the other ones? Okay. Hey Joe, hey Sushi, what is under your hat? People defending the first trial and not accepting that from this point we cannot take whatever take whatever we say is truth. Dear Lord, put it back. <laughs> I was I was expecting something a, a little more important than than a, an Ohego under under the hat 
but I guess it, it turns out to be really important because it, it, it was it was the, the protagonist hair. So yeah. <laughs> One. Two. You have protagonist hair, Hajime. Okay, we got we got SpongeBob from SpongeBob SquarePants holding Pickle Nagito and Squidward with my head. Pickle Nagito, please, Nagito stream. Hey Hajime, I'm Alien Pickle Nagito. Pickle Nagito emote, please. Pickle Pickle Nagito's a new hotness. No, this is Patrick. What's 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 the mascot on on Joseph Anderson's stream? Fucking uh, a fucking pickle with a wig. Right now, you're on the threshold. I'm a pickle, Hajime. I turned myself into a pickle. The ultimate hope. Um, let's uh let's go back. So then. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's let's do one love key thing, and then we'll uh, we'll um, we'll con we'll read out some, some messages, and then we'll continue the game. Let's do one love key uh, um, scene. Do, 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 do. Uh, so that was this one, right? So these are the save files. This the 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 bottom one was the after we got the scene with Maki. Then this one was after the first Q and A stream with all the coins. And then this one is the second uh, Q&A stream without all the coins. I loaded it off the Mackie save. So Mackie's the one that we've done. Yeah, but we'll do one scene. We'll probably sprinkle these out throughout the, the streams. And someone told me if you wait until the end, you can you can get them with... Uh, you can do extras and you can get them from with, with, uh, with Katie. Uh, official announcement from the ultimate. Wait, did I not load it? It's this one, right? I want to load the data in the slot. All right, then I hit continue. Continue, and then I hit yes. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm confused. This is the bedtime announcement. This is the right one. I it's just it just looked like the announcement we were on before. This is the right one. Would you like to use love key? Yep. Okay. Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal, like some shared fantasy. I wonder what kind of ideal Ryoma is portraying. He seems embarrassed. Hey. Suichi, I've warned you before not to chase after me. Huh? What, what do you mean, chase you? Don't you get it? We're nothing more than a former tennis player and manager. <laughs> We're just strangers. Manager. I must be someone that Ryoma knew when he was playing tennis. So, in Ryoma's fantasy, I was chasing after him. This is all part of his dream. I can't ruin that for him. I threw away my past. We've, we've got no reason to see each other. If you get it, then hurry and leave. Hey! Do I need a reason to see you? It's not like it's dangerous to see each other. Yeah. Well, probably not anymore. The mafia I got tangled up with is long gone. But I don't have a future anymore. You've got nothing to gain being with me. Huh? I'm not only seeing you because I get something out of it, B Babaka. <laughs> Humph. Managers should listen to their players, you know. I'm saying I don't want to see you. Don't follow me. It's irritating. Why? H how how could you say that to me? <laughs> She's really into it. 
<laughs> Why is Rowan being so stubborn? I'm supposed to be his ideal. Ah, uh, perhaps he doesn't really want to leave. Ryoma. At least tell me more. At least tell me why you don't want to see me anymore. I deserve an answer. I'm not trying to make this hard, just I won't believe it until I hear you say it. Um. What is it, Ryoma? Jeez. Jeez. I try to push you away and you just stick to me. What a weird guy. I'm gonna talk about my selfish wishes now. You'll probably think I'm a pain. And then you'll stick around anyway. You're just that type of loser. Well, now's your last chance to walk away. You're just gonna regret listening. No. I wouldn't do that to you. Not after coming this far. So please, tell me. Then... In that case, I'm going to be honest. I'll be okay as long as you're alive. Huh? What? What do you mean? You're... You're... Someone who lives in the sun. Line <laughs> dialogue. A place that's beyond my reach now. Because I wear a hat. Someone like you... <laughs> you took your hat off, Suchi. Now you live in the sun, unlike me, who still wears a hat. Someone like you remembering me in the back of your mind. That's all I need. Don't bother with me. So please, don't worry about me anymore. Go somewhere far away and live happily. Uh, um... You telling me this makes me want to stay by your side even more. <laughs> Humph, I knew it. I knew you'd say something like that. But all this makes it seem like I want you to chase after me. Jeez, how pathetic. That's... But that's alright, Ryoma. Just be honest and tell me what you want. On impulse, I took Ryoma's hand in my... Damn, Sushi's really getting into it. Ryoma's sweating. I felt that if I didn't hold tight, he would run away from me. Ryoma! I don't know what will happen in the future, but I know I'm happy now. Ryoma's hand gripped mine a little tighter. They were smaller than mine, and years of tennis had made them hard. But strong. I've still got a ways to go too. I ended up getting you involved with me. It's all right. I won't run away. Ryoma, please don't run away either. <laughs> I wouldn't do such a lame thing now. It might have been a long time coming, but I'm going to at least say it properly. Shuichi, things won't be like before. But will you help me again? Take down another mafia. Yeah, of course. If there's anything I can do, I'd be more than happy to. Is that so? Then, to make sure you don't regret your decision. Oh, are we gonna kiss? I'll do whatever I can for you too. Aw. Oh. All right. I'm counting on that. I'd done all I could. I held Ryoma's hand safe and warm. Ah, oh, good one. Good. One of them didn't end in rape. That's great. Alright, so what is that? Two out of five have not ended in rape now? That's good. Okay, let's load the other one up. No, no one more. No one more. No one more. No. No. Okay, uh, let's look at messages and then we'll start. Showtime. Thank you, Arc Lightning, Shadow Sun, uh, and Sheafing for um, subbing while the stream was down. Uh, Sheafing was a, a, a one year sub, 12 month resub, with one year celebration sip with the angry sip emote. I don't have a tea right now, or else I would sip along with you, but, but thank you very much, Sheafing. Hopefully, you're still here or you watch the VODs. Thank you so much. Welcome to the one year club. Uh, I can't get. What? I can't get J. Memerson back? What? That's a weird name. I like it, but it's it's kind of weird. Uh, for the new sub, welcome to Dragon's Den. I can't get J. Memerson back. 
Uh, I, you also use some bits to say, Joe's tired, don't speak to him until he's eaten his morning ass. This is true. This is true. How do you know? Have you used the love key on me? Uh, Bloody Hilary says, but then people will die and we won't be able to get the hotel scenes. Yeah, but we can uh, reload the extra ones, right? I think we can we can reload some extras. Or there's, there's, there's something we can do. Someone told me you can get them all at the end. Uh, Anton1699 user hundred percent. I clicked the get bits button uh, on Twitch as I was being redirected to PayPal. My screen turned white. The light hurt my eyes, so I closed them. As I slowly opened them again, I found myself on a horse-drawn carriage. Hmm. A girl was next to me. Hey, hey, you're finally awake, she said. The girl handed me a leather bag which contained a few purple crystals. She told me that those were my bits and asked me to turn the bag around. I obeyed and noticed it written in old golden letters. Skyrim. Oh, it was Skyrim after all. The, 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 the double reversal. Todd Howard has done it again. I, th I thought, oh, it's not going there. The double reversal. Slygamer64, you said 100 bits to say, Monodam, best monocub, Winky smiley face. I agree. Monodam is my favorite. But he seems evil now. Maybe that's why I like him. Ashen Cater says, take an orange, put it in the freezer for a whole, for a whole, for a while. And then you can bite into it like an apple. Yeah, and break all your teeth, I think. Bite into a frozen, frozen orange, man. Uh, Kawai Desu, or Desu? Is it Desu or Desu? Uh, has used 1,500 bits. Uh, that was about half an hour ago. Sorry, we, we were looking at fan art and did a love key thing. Thank you very much, Kawa Desu. Hopefully you're still here. That's a lot of bits. Thanks so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Slogamer64 used 500 bits to say, taking the number two spot for myself. Number two. Oh, someone took it from you as well. Sorry. You're at number three right now, but you were at number two back then. Number two. Thank you, Slogamer. Uh, Fuyuchi. Fuyuchi. That's got to be it. Thank you, Fuyuchi, for the new sub. Welcome to Dragon's Den. Thank you to Slagamer64 for gifting a sub to Cakewalking Remastered as well. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Bunny and Boots24, you can miss to say, hi, hi there, Joe, I have a quick question for you. If some of the story beats in these games are so infuriating to you, what about this game series appeals to you? Because you seem to genuinely enjoy them. Well, up until now, I, my favorite thing was the murder mysteries, and that's gone now. Uh, I still like the characters and the concept, um, and... It's it's usually funny. Like the, the the writing is not um like the overarching story is, is is pretty bad, but the individual stories of the characters they're usually pretty funny. So um yeah, I, I wonder if I would enjoy it as much off stream. I've never played them any of them off stream, but yeah. But the murder mysteries are my favorite until now. Uh Impdu2 has used a thousand bits to say, Hey Joe, just wanted to say thanks for all the great YouTube videos and streams. You're very welcome, Impdu. Thank you so much for telling me. And thank you for the bits. Thank you very much, Impdu. Uh, so, some people don't like me anymore uh, because of the streams, so I'm glad that I'm glad that you like both the videos and the streams. Thank you very much. Uh, Secret Lizard Person, damn, what does it mean? Uh, has subscribed. Uh, welcome to Dragon Sense, Secret Liz Lizard Person. Hmm. I am not a Secret Lizard Person. Hmm. Thank you, thank you. I, I, I hope no one no one catches on. Uh, Ralph Cogs used to say a science lecturer and a student walk into a bar. The scientist says to the barman, can I have a glass of H2O? The barman hands over the drink and the lecturer walks away. Wanting to fit in, the student says to the, says to the barman, I'll have a glass of H2O too. His funeral is tomorrow. <laughs> right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. <laughs> what, what, what kind of evil barman is this? It's Todd Howard. Uh, DJ Scoot has resubscribed for three months with just popping in, going to continue trial one. Hashtag VOD boys. Shout out to the VOD boys. We rowdy. Thank you very much, DJ Scoot. Hopefully you get to this and you, and you hear me say thank you. Hope you like. Uh, hope you like trial one. Uh, I didn't, but uh, a lot of people did, so I hope that you like it. Uh, Red Zeth says, Joe, please go to dress up and put the, the new background for the monopad on. What? Okay, we'll check that out in a second. And I can't get Jay Memerson back. Says the story behind the name is that I changed it from Jay Memerson to something else as a joke, and now I can't get Jay Memerson back. <laughs> I like your story. Uh, Mr. Smarticus has recently gone for four months. Thank you very much, Mr. Smarticus. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you for the four months. Timmy Timmy123125 has uh, gifted a sub to Mickey Lanny. Welcome, Mickey Lanny. Thank you very much, Timmy Timmy. Welcome, welcome, Mickey Lanny. Welcome to Dragon's Den. 
Gamer 64 has used 901 bits. I let the bid wars begin. Oh, damn. Just, 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 just snab the number one spot. Sly Gamer 64. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm hesitant to, to congratulate anyone who wins the bidding war because I don't, or the bitting war because I, I, I don't want to see that like I'm encouraging people to, to, to send bits for that. But, um, but, but thank you for the bits. Thank you. Buddy in Boots says, I actually have found your videos are more enjoyable now that I've been following your streams. Cheer, cheer, cheer. Yeah, I read a comment a while ago that said that um, some people enjoy, they, they, they said, I, I enjoy the stream, uh, the videos more that now that I know he's actually human because the videos I can come across as quick clinical and maybe even a little bit robotic. Uh, and they said, you know, I watched his Undertale stream and it, and it turns out that he actually is a person and that he, uh, he, uh, he does enjoy games. And it's just the videos are trying to do something something different. So yeah, that, that was nice to read when uh, when I found that comment. Uh, and last but not least, Timmy Timmy one two three one two five has gifted a sub to Wet Wings. Welcome, Wet Wings. Welcome to the rub a dub sub club, Wet Wings. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Timmy. Okay, let's. Um... This is an official announcement. Let's go. So then, is all that remains of a once powerful I have our wonderful killing school semester today. <laughs> wonderful announcement, Monodam. I can't right believe now. this is your first time. Hey. This isn't really your first time, is it? Hey, is this really your first time? This is the first time. Th this is my first time. Aw, <laughs> uh, you're blushing. How cute. More importantly, anyway, we dropped off some presents in your rooms. And that's that. Cow and fear, cause hell starts here. So long. So long, bear well. Fifteen. So the presents are um our motives. What? Is it morning already? Last night with Mackie, was that a dream? I can still see her eyes. Oh no. Oh no. Four or five minutes again. Yeah, the this the stream intros are, are going on a little bit too long, but uh in my defense, this time we had quite a lot of fan art to go through. But I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that at the end of streams from now on. Uh, so maybe we should end a little early, or um, uh, just that can just be bonus time at the end. But yeah, uh, it's not ideal. I'm I'm aware of the issue. A present? What does that mean? Oh damn! All right, so let's put put on the. Uh... Is it under gifts or? School regulations. System. Dress up. There we go. Basic theme. The love suite. Ooh. Oh, damn. Look at that. Look at the budget, man actually had a budget damn budget okay so let's let's uh let's recap the whole story so far for 20 minutes to catch everyone up <laughs> when did this get here it looks like a monopad but it's not it says cubs pad on the back in fine print huh cubs pad when i touched the screen the device came to life and started playing a video Kato Moto's motive demand, video. It's time for the motive video. Interesting. Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado. Bless you, Kaito. Kaito Momoto. Whoops. Ah, the ultimate astronaut. Thanks to his exceptional talent, this young man is already an astronaut trainee. Wow. Our team has managed to score an exclusive interview with his grandparents. Uh-oh. They miss their grandson terribly and hope he returns to them safe and sound. But don't just take my word for it. Let's hear it straight from the source. Kaito. As long as you're alive, I don't need anything else. 
No matter what happens, you must live. You must never give up. Please, live on, for our sakes too. Did they use the same face for both characters? I just, I just did some minor alterations to the left one, or to the right one, depending on which one they started with. Nose is, is pretty different. Their only wish is for Kaito to live. Will Kaito be able to fulfill his grandparents' wish? Ah, yes. One more thing. Shortly after this interview wrapped, these old farts suffered an unfortunate accident. Uh-oh. What kind of accident? <laughs> it's a secret! Find out for yourself! <laughs> Shot in the heat. Huh? Like, how are you here, Bear? What was that? Uh, um... A motive video. Could this be another one of Monokuma's motives? Even if it were, why do I have Kato's motive? No. Ah, uh, I'll think about that stuff later. I should hurry and tell Kaido. I ran out into the hallway on a mission to find Kaido. I should try. Kato's room first. Is it Kato or Kaido? Uh, where is he? Uh, all the boys are on this side. Uh, there he is. With his great purple hair. With shaky hands. I press the doorbell. Damn, why are your hands shaking? Hmm. No answer. Did he already leave? In that case, he must be at the dining hall. I'll try there. Oh, damn. ba da ba da bum ba dum ba dum bum bum Kibo. If you want, I can make a program to automatically cycle through the fan during break. Uh, the problem with that is, I think um, that people want to see my reaction to it, so that that would let people be able to see it, but I would still have to go through it. <clears throat> Kiba have seen Kiba have you seen Kai Shuichi. impeccable t impeccable timing Suichi I was on my way to get you huh? you were please everyone is gathering in the dining hall please come right away I'll go get everyone else everyone is this about the videos I should go to the dining hall Kaido must be there but a bit of bum ba dum ba dum. I haven't finished the anime. No, no. But a bit of bum ba dum ba dum bum bum. But a bit of bum ba dum ba dum. Uh, Lily and I did almost eight hours of streaming between this stream and the last stream. So, uh, and that's on top of uh, of um, I have to go on some goddamn fucking Odyssey through Moncton yesterday. So no. But a bit of bum ba dum ba dum bum bum ba dum. I will finish it though. Sorry, a lot has happened since since that hap uh, since the starting the anime. Hmm? Kaido's not here either. Um... Hey, has anyone seen Kaito? <laughs> you seem in a panic. You may have reloaded your save, Suichi, but I still remember what we did the other night. Don't think I'll ever forget. Over the cubs pad, if I'm not mistaken. Huh? What? Uh... You're not the only one who got one, Suichi. Uh-oh! We all did! Yes. We have all been giving, we have all been given motive videos. However, they have been mixed up. Huh? Mixed up. Um. When I woke up, there was a cubs pad in my room, but the video on it wasn't even mine. May I? Sumigi, we should discuss this once ever, this once everyone is here. Huh? Oh, sorry, you're right. Uh, um. What do you mean, once everyone is here? Yes. Kato and Kibo went to gather everyone else so that we may discuss our plans. Yes. Shall we wait for everyone then? Until then, I can provide you all with massages. Damn. Um. Thank you for waiting. Thank you for waiting. We gathered everyone else. Oh dear. 
My word, and after I was about to finally experience one of Kirumi's famed massages. What is it? What, what do you mean? Are you also suggesting that I cannot read the air? Well... What? So what is it? Why did you drag us here? Come on, man. Didn't I tell you? It's about the cubs pads. Monokuma gave us a new motive. We can't not talk about is that it. so? That thing that looks like another monopod, that was a motive? Huh? Mackie, haven't you watched the video on the cubs pad yet? Okay. No, I ignored it because I figured it was something stupid. Damn, best girl. Uh... That's, actu that's actually really courageous in a weird sort of way. Hey! You don't have to speak up. But this is important, so you should at least listen. So... Billions and billions. So, what are these videos? Hmm... No doubt there are more motives for Monokuma, but why were they all mixed up? Honest! Yeah, yeah. Why Gonta get Sumugi's video? Hey! No, don't say it, Gonta. Huh? Hmm? Uh... Uh, I heard it, I see. So Gonta has my video. What happened? Huh? Gonta not supposed to say it? <laughs> Who fucking cares? We're gonna exchange them anyway, right? Well... No, we cannot exchange them. What? We can't? Why? Alright, why is Kibo getting development? Why not? They're videos of the most important people in our lives. No. And that is precisely why we cannot exchange them. Listen closely. Although we do not know why our motives were mixed up, as long as we don't exchange them, we don't have to see our motives at all. Then... So it's better to just ignore them? <laughs> yes. Yes, at least that is what I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's true. If we ignore them, then we won't have a motive. No. I'm against that. Why? Huh? Against it? Why? If you see that video, it'll turn into a motive, right? <laughs> that's why I want to see it. I want to see my manager. Uh, um, you do? Always messing around. You were saying something like that before, that you don't plan on surviving. It might not matter to you whether you get killed or not, but... Dumbass! We're different. We all want to live. Wake up already. You're like some zombie wandering around with no will to live. <laughs> no will to live, huh? Humph. If that's how you see me, then so be it. Not cool. But I've got no plans to change my opinion. That's just not cool. What? What did you say? Hmm. Who cares? Ryama just stated his opinion. Because? And he's presenting it as objective fact. Actually, I feel the same way as him. Kokichi. Are you trying to cause trouble again? That's so mean. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm not saying we shouldn't care about killing or dying. <laughs> but I think it'd be better if we didn't cooperate with each other. <laughs> Actually, we definitely shouldn't cooperate with each other. Why? We shouldn't cooperate? Why not? Because? Think back to all of Monokuma's actions so far. Whenever we tried to work together, Monokuma would retaliate with a plan to make us suffer. It happened when Katie wanted us to cooperate, and again with those these motive videos, right? <laughs> Which means the more we try to cooperate, the more he'll try to make us suffer. Then... You are saying that if we do not rally together, we will not be made to suffer? I mean, he's gonna make us suffer anyway, that's the whole point. I'm disappointed. That's why I had no choice but to screw with you guys. But you ingrates didn't even notice. That's... And you're not lying to us right now? He's totally oh, lying. No. Whether I'm lying or not, what I'm saying is still true. You know? Anyway, we shouldn't force ourselves to cooperate. Let's just all do our own thing. So I agree with Ryoma's suggestion. It's because we're trying to cooperate that Monokuma is making us suffer. But what about everything we went through? What was the point of Katie sacrificing herself? So that means... Anyway, I'm warning you all for your sake. Let's just exchange our motive videos instead of cooperating with each other. Incomprehensible. Isn't that kind of cooperating, though? I, I cannot comprehend that logic. See? Well, now that I've said I won't cooperate, I can't afford to be seen with you, losers. Pff, smell you later, losers. Come on, Gonta. Let's go. Huh? What? Gonta, too? Because? We promised to think of a way to get everyone to exchange their motive videos, remember? So that means... Anyway, Kirumi, I'll hit you up later when I'm feeling hungry. Huh? Take in charge, man. Well, wait, did Gonkta make promise? Actually. Why can't you tell? Why can't you tell when he's lying, Gonta? <sighs> Quit screwing around. Our sake? Yeah, right. I've had it with his lies. Well. What about horse A? What's the horse A? So, are we all done here? Then I'm leaving. <sighs> Kirumi, bring me my dinner later. What? Oh, everyone's mean to Kirumi. 
Hey. This is bullshit. Everyone's treating her like a maid. <sighs> I'm heading out too. Hey. Wait at Ryoma. Don't forget, we're all struggling to get out of here alive. So don't get in our way. Jeez. Jeez. I've got no intention of getting in your way. I'd never do something so uncool. By the way. Kurumi, could I get you to clean my room later? Okay. Okay, what's going on with Kurumi? I'm starting to, I'm starting to get worried. Actually. You, you guys are relying on Kurumi too much. I do not agree. I do not mind. Serving others is the true desire of any maid. Huh. You shouldn't spoil people, though, especially degenerate males. In any event... Our cooperation is the number one factor in our suffering, is it? Hee <laughs> hee How, I wonder, will this turn out? I will observe with great interest. I shall observe. Oh, and Kirumi, I shall have you record my observations. I trust you to do it properly. <laughs> well, I'm certainly not gonna hang out with a bunch of chumps like you. That being said, Guess I'll go back, take a shit, and get some sleep. <laughs> got, got one locked in the chamber already. Kirumi, think of an invention for me, okay? Um. Wow, how much is everyone going to depend on Kirumi? That is troubling. My workload has increased significantly. This calls for a more tactical approach. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna kill someone, so there's less work for me to do. Come on, I can't. You can't spoil them. They'll just turn into ungrateful leeches. Nah. Wait, what's wrong, Himoko? Are you hungry? Right. Then how about we eat together, Kirumi? One tripe hot. One tripe hot pot, please. Tripe hot pot. Um. Tenko, you're giving her more work. Himiko. What's the matter, Himiko? You don't like tripe hot pot? Um. You don't get it, Tenko. Himoko isn't hungry. I know, because I have the almighty <clears throat> Atua. <laughs> Whatever, let's just enjoy some tri pot pot. Jeez. Jeez, you're so careless, Tenko. I think they're gonna have some tri, tri pot pot. It's cold down here, isn't it? It's really cold. Your cheese not as hot as it should be either. Thank you. <clears throat> Is this poisoned? No way. Daddy. Because it tastes kind of like orange peel. <laughs> okay, so Daddy. I ordered this face stuff. Remember I told you? Hi, 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 hi. My other stuff ran out. So I'm hi. like, okay, I'm going to try this new face stuff. So it came and it's some vitamin C thing and it smells like oranges. Does it? So is it me? Because I smell, I think, like oranges. Maybe I smell like orange peel. Did you put some the in the cup? I did not put any in the cup. Say hello. Mm. Hello. I should just rub orange oh, peel on my face. Say hi. Hi. Hi, see all th these people here? They're people that can hear you. Daddy, his cold. Daddy's hands are cold. Yeah, Daddy's hands are cold. You're right. You want your sweater? Daddy's hands cold. No, oh, okay. Why, why, why do you have an owl? Um, you have an owl on your finger. What happens? No, no, no. Yes, you do. It's an owl. No, owl. Yes, owl. It's an owl. No, you have an owl on your finger. What happened? Yes, you do. You have an owl. No, owl. Yes, owl. No, owl. Yes, Al. Yes, Al. <laughs> Any monkeys today? See monkeys. <laughs> Just one? None. How many monkeys were there? None. Monkey. Two monkeys. Three monkeys. Four monkeys. Five monkeys. Six monkeys. How many monkeys were there? <laughs> That's so many monkeys. Tell Daddy how you say for Daddy's microphone. Um, Daddy. Monkey. Daddy's monkey town. Daddy's monkey town? Why? Instead of microphone, <laughs> monkey right, town? the microphone. We accidentally taught Finn a bad word. And I, I, I'm going to see if he still knows it. Because <clears throat> this is probably the last time we're going to get him to say it. And then we'll try and make it so he forgets. But let's see. Finn, has there been any bullshit today? No bullshit. <laughs> no. Is any, any any bullshit today? No bullshit. Mommy. Yes. Mommy, a cop. What? Mommy, a cop. Right. Give me a switch. Say bye. Give me a switch. 
All right, say bye-bye. No, bye-bye. Yes, no. bye-bye. Yes, bye-bye. No, bye-bye. Yes, bye-bye. No, bye-bye. Go see, go see your brother. No. No. In the end, those of us that stayed behind had tripot pot for a quirky take on breakfast. We also promised not to show each other the motives. Hmm. Ugh, too much breakfast. Anyway, it seems like everyone wants to do their own thing. What can we... Whoa, everything okay? Yeah. Alright. What can we do to work to better? What can we do to work better together as a group? I wish I could do something on my own, but that's impossible. <clears throat> if I screw up, it'll just be like Katie all over again. It's no use. I did it again. I can't keep these thoughts out of my head. I can't stand around doing nothing. I promise, sir. Free time. Free time. Do 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 do. -do. Free time. All right. So who who are we hanging out with? I kind of like Kato. He's growing on me. The cast is growing on me. I like this guy. This guy's hilarious. Gonta is kind of just 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 not much to him but he he adds some 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 charm to the cast this guy's interesting um this guy's interesting too uh i hate this guy this guy's just nothing um kurumi is pretty disappointing it's just i'm a maid i'm pretty disappointed in kurumi um i hate her although the the love key scene made me feel sorry for her but i still hate her uh, Maki is still kind of nothing, and I have a feeling that 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 she's uh, a slow burner. <clears throat> Maki's probably going to survive toward the end. Uh, Tenko is I don't like. Uh, Sumigi I don't like. Uh, Angie I don't like, and Miu I like a lot. I think Miu is hilarious <clears throat> as a character, not as a waifu. Okay, so who should we hang out with? Who do we have? We have one with Kuru Kurumi and Mio. That's it? That's the only ones we have We have uh, friendships with? Damn. Okay, so what should we do? Who should we hang out with? Should we, should we push forward with, with one of them? Or should we, should we try someone new? Should we push forward and try and get some panties from somebody? Should, should, should we stick with Kurumi and see if there's more to her? Because I don't think there is. Who's best girl right now? I mean, it's between Kurumi, Maki, Sumigi, and, and Miyu. Yeah, the, the, best, the best girls are, are, are pretty low in this game. So Kurumi's just kind of eh. I guess Maki wins by default because Mio is just awful and Sumigi is nothing and cost box. Katie was the number one. I understand the poll now. Because it's like bad choices, good choices, and boring choices. And boring, bad. You know, decent, bad, boring, bad, bad. Yeah. So my 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 uh, current uh, statement is that V3 has the best boys and the worst girls of, when it comes to cast. Let's go hang out with Mew. Oh, Kurumi's here. Maybe we should maybe we should just try and finish Kurumi. Alternate between these two girls, the ones that we started. Let's do that. Let's just alternate between the two. I like I like doing that. Is this a request? Did you have a request for me? I'm scheduled to assist Mia with her in in invention. Oh, let's let's both hang out. 
let's I, that those are the two let's do it i can fulfill your request afterward provided you do not mind waiting of course should i hang out with green for a while yeah let's do it let's do it that is correct yes i should rest her a bit before i help her with the invention invention Karumi and i took a break together Uh, thank you, Elephant Doom, for the 110 bits for the message. A few streams ago, you said something about requests for new emotes. Here is my formal request for a hey, hey emote that's Jackie waving. I need more variety in my concha, hey, hey, conchas. Um, I don't know if that would if that would uh, have any longevity, but we can give it a try. We can we can cycle some out. Sure, I can see how how that how that goes and see if people use it. Sure, I'll put it on the list. I can't promise anything, but I'll put it on the list. Um. Looks like you're right, the game lied about who we were playing as. Instead of Sushi, we were Kato Mamata, Luminary of the Stars the entire time. Oh shit, you're right. You're right. I wonder what I wonder what part of the uh, the motive video that, that that we watch, but we're not we're not being shown. You're right, we're Kato. So Gamer 64 you still have bits to say. I'll give 100 more bits if you go with Kochiki. Oh, rip bits, sorry, rip bits. Rip bits. Even if I'd seen it, I, I wouldn't have done it. I, I would have gone my own way, but thank you for the bit Sly Gamer 64 Sorry, we will hang out with Kochiki eventually though. I, I do like him. Uh, if you make a video on this game, the title better be Danger Up V3: Best Boys and the Worst Girls. <laughs> uh, and Anton 1699 has said plus I plus one the Hey Hey emote. Hey Hey, Kirimi and I grew a little closer today. Would you have to give Kirimi a present? All right, so it's food, right? What should I give her? What food should I give her? Bunny apples. Rock hard ice cream, ketchup. So we don't have. Oh, do we have ketchup? <laughs> it seems I did not have to give you any advice on how to select the right gifts. Ooh, she likes ketchups. Damn, it's meant to be. You have made me incredibly happy. Ah, sigh. Hmm. Dreamy, is something wrong? I heard you sighing. My apologies. My apologies. It was rude to sigh in front of you. No. No, I don't mind. Don't worry about it. Thank you. That does make me feel better. To be honest, I am worried about something. Huh? What about? That is. Since a part of my memory is lost, I cannot remember it clearly. Perhaps because I am trapped here, I have abandoned my master. From an employer's perspective, it would seem like I disappeared without a trace. You're right. I suppose that is worrisome. Yes. Yes, to be unable to complete a request. Karimi probably thinks that's unforgivable. I'm sure that some people depend on Karimi to work. Then? I'm sure that your employer is very worried not seeing you at work. That is correct. That is true. Um... Hey, Karumi. If it's alright with you, could you tell me a little about your employer? Do you want to move into my room and we can be Karumis? I'm interested in hearing what kind of work the ultimate maid has done in the past. It seems as if... Since it is confidential, I cannot tell you much, but according to my memories... The last person I served was an author of light novels. Ooh, I see an author. How quaint. A maid that waits on an author. Either way. He had so many ideas, but he was in turmoil because he could not write them all. So I offered advice on writing quickly. After listening to me, he was able to publish a novel per month. He was quite grateful. One per month? How was he able to do that? That is. Before him, I served a politician from a foreign country. I served as his maid. But I also acted as his mentor for Mahjong. Huh? <clears throat> a politician needed a mentor for Mahjong. Lily likes that game. Yes. The country had a peculiar system. They decided everything with Mahjong and their Makangos. The person I served won against all his rivals and became the prime minister. So Kurumi can play Mahjong too. Hmm. That's amazing, Kurumi. You're always with successful people. I am a maid. I complete after all. requests as a maid would do, which is why. If I serve you, then you will be able to walk the same path of success. Huh? Huh? Me? Excuse me. Suichi, I see potential in you. Similar to other people I have served in the past, perhaps you are a diamond in the rough? If I support you, then maybe you can become more successful. You think so? There's no way. I choose my own path. I choose my own path. You think so? Let's do you think so. Really? You think so? I can't even imagine. No. You just have to, you have just not realized it yet. I'm not mistaken in what I see. Hmm. Maybe, but remember, I was only picked to be an ultimate by coincidence. May I? Suichi, humility is a virtue as well. But you are self-deprecating. -de you should believe in yourself more. Hmm. Kirumi. Ah, oh, we got another friendship fragment. Can't wait to see your panties. Kirumi. 
Kurumi spent some time with me, trying to get, get me to see my potential. Damn. Just like she's hanging out with us. I wonder what that would be like if if every free time event, there, there are four slots that you can hang out with other people, but there's also one slot where someone comes and hangs out with you and gives you a present. Let's go to the casino and buy all those skills so people can see how many coins I got. I know it would add a lot of um, <clears throat> a lot of uh, uh, time to the game, but I also wonder if it would be worth it if you could if you could hang out with everyone at least once for every, every single between every single case. Um, it just adds so much more to the depth of the characters, but it might it might be too uh, it might be too much. All right, there's my coins. I hit Y a lot. The q &A streams went on for about about eight hours. <clears throat> we just answered all the Q&As, uh, all the questions while hitting Y. Okay, uh, should we get all this shit then? Uh, thank you, Kazuin12, for the former three sub with the message. Hey, hey, thank you, Kazuin12. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Hey, hey, right back at you. Do Makes the radical stop shaking. Oh, that's pretty good. I don't like the, that the radical shakes. Makes the silencer fall rapidly effective drain non stuff to Let's just get them all. Fuck it. There we go. <clears throat> um, should we get any of these things? Change notebook. Okay, should we get another love key for tonight? Let's see what happens. Uh, are there gonna be any more um, items that come up in here that are used for random events, or do I have them all? Six moves of the killing game. Hmm. Again, werewolf. Doo -doo. Mm. Mm. You already have one on previously. Yeah, um, we can we can get one at the end. We can we can save the coins. That's fine. Okay. Uh, let's go hang out with Mia. I think the majority, the items at the end come from Dengan Rampa Salmon. What? You can get items from that? Really? Can I get them now? Or, or, or what? I have 72% of the item of the gifts now. What does Mio like? What presence does Mio like? Yeah, I can't focus. And if I can't focus, I can't stay on top of my inventions. It's some caramel thing, right? You get it. My focus can shape the course of history. Should I hang out with Mio for all? Yeah. 
Sure. It's pointless for me to keep working, so I'll take a break and spend time with you. Spend some time with Mia. I somehow ended up growing a little closer to Mia. Would you like to give me a present? Yeah. Give her the tentacle machine? Really? Alright. What? What? How did you know I've wanted this? Uh -huh. don't, don't tell me you're that into me. Oh, we're, we're super into you. Well, I guess a perma virgin like you can't help but think about it, but think about all day long. I guess a perma virgin like you can't help but think about all day long. Okay. Ha ha ha, I'm a fan fucking tastic. I'm in a fan fucking tastic mood today, too. Hmm. Sure looks that way. What? Hey, hey, why the grumpy face? <laughs> hey, 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 I know. You're all plugged up, huh? Then let me give you something to get things moving. <laughs> Why is Miu in such a good mood? It's a little creepy. Hey! Come on, Suichi, to my research lab. Completely ignore my confusion. Miu headed to her lab. <clears throat> to the lab! Well then. Now let's get started. Uh, started? Um... Start what? <laughs> Clean the shit out of your ears, Puichi. What? That being said. Feast your eyes on the latest invention from the genius inventor, Miu Uru Aruma. Miu showed me. Are these sunglasses? What was that? Not just any sunglasses, these have built-in erotic animations. Movies appear behind the lenses so you can watch dirty movies anytime, anywhere. <laughs> As a bonus, I included a video of me. Oh damn, Booyah! nice. What a waifu. Here, use this too. I'll bet this get, this will get your blood moving. Uh, um, what is this? You know. It's a recording of my moans. Huh? What? I recorded a voice sample for you. You're welcome. <laughs> a virgin like you would never have the chance to hear this voice. <laughs> Is this grounds to file a sexual harassment complaint? Said the rapist. I got other stuff for you, but I don't feel like explaining it all. Just put it to good use, okay? Everything in the box me you gave me was clearly for that purpose. Out of my way. Be happy. I made all this stuff for you. Huh? For me? Sure. Don't men need this kind of stuff? You can't get anything done if you're always plugged up. It's weird to be handed this stuff out of nowhere, whether I need it or not. I'm a bit taken aback by how nice Miu is being, though. Thank you. Uh, um, thank you? <laughs> <laughs> See? Being honest ain't so bad now, huh? What kind of girl gives, like, a fap gift basket? I like how honest you are, since it's you. Sure. I guess I can share my secret with you. Huh? Your secret? I'm a virgin, too. I don't really want to hear it. Alright, let's hear it. I'll listen, but no more inventions. Alright, let's hear it! Okay. All right, let's hear it. What? what, really? You'll hear my secret? Why is she being shy? She brought it up. Booyah! All right, that's a great attitude. Now we're talking. <laughs> we'll work out the details later. Okay. okay. Oh, all right. We need to know the secret. Mio was clearly in a very good mood as I returned to my room and used all the stuff in her box. What do I do with all the, these inventions anyway? Damn, he used them. He used them. For sure. For sure. Ding dong, bing bong. It is now night time. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 p.m. So... The late night special at the exclusive Monocub Kitchen inside the dining hall is. I'm whipping up a rice bowl with chicken, egg, and spicy kimchi. It's only 1,000 calories. It's easy to make. Just cook fried chicken and eggs with rice. Top it with kimchi. Oh, and don't forget the mayo. Voila, bon appetit. By the way, this here is for Mana Cubs only. We ain't sharing any with yous. Damn. Bam! How you like my culinary chaos? So, so long, farewell. So long, farewell. 16.
I wouldn't eat that greasy food even if they're threatened, even if they threatened to kill me. But anyway, nighttime already, huh? When it gets to be nighttime, I start thinking about things. Was there really no way to save Katie? I ask myself questions like that. Because no matter how I think about it, what happened to her is my fault. It's Kato. Hmm. Huh? Is someone here? The doorbell's ringing. Oh, damn. There it is. I thought we could get rid of the dust. No? Yo! Hey, come out, come hang out with me a sec. Huh? Huh, now? But it's nighttime. Come on, man. There's no rule about walking around at nighttime, right? Huh. Damn, we're gonna get murdered. I'll be waiting at the courtyard. Wait! Murdered. Ah, wait, wait. But Kato wasn't listening. He turned and quickly walked away. Hmm. The courtyard at this time of night. What does he want? Could it be about the motive video I have? But how does he know? Wait, should I even go at all? Something might happen. Uh, is it whoever whoever has whoever whoever we have they have ours? I don't think Sumigi said I have Gontas, right? Then standing here. Oh. Oh, are you going out, Suichi? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Kato asked me to come meet him. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. I saw him near the Wisterias. Wisterias. Uh, so it was you he's waiting for. It's a, like a like a plant, right? In any event. But having a secret meeting at a time such as this, do you intend to exchange motives? No. I don't know. Maybe. He just asked me to meet him. I don't know why. <laughs> he he he. I was merely joking. However. However. It would be understandable for one to come to that conclusion. Please, keep that in mind. Well. Well, since I have witnessed you here, I suggest you avoid taking any foolish actions. In any event, good night. I must go to bed. My curfew approaches. Now I'm even more worried something could happen to me. Get the keys, cheer, cheer, cheer. Don't forget the Mondo butter. <laughs> uh, Neck of the Cat says, hey, hey, I hope the stream goes well. I'll be popping in and out, so I might have to be a VOD waifu for this one. VOD time, VOD time, VOD time. Shout out, shout out to the VODers. <sighs> nah. nah. Oh, it's you, Suichi. Hmm. What are you doing up at this hour? <sighs> nah. Well, just thinking. Hmm. But it's pretty late now. Hmm. I think I'll sleep well tonight. I knew it. If I knew it'd be like this, I would have had her undo my brainwashing a long time ago. It's magic. Huh? You're brainwashing. Hmm. Well, good night. <laughs> what was that? What was that about? She looked happier than usual. I wonder what happened. Damn. Is it just everyone out at night? Eh? Hey, Suichi, where are you off to at this hour? Uh, uh, well, I have something to do. What are you doing? I... Oh, I was just praying to Atua and... Yeah. Nah, just be excited for tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow. Sayonara. Good night, Suichi. See you tomorrow. Is someone gonna get murdered tomorrow? Is she playing something? Uh, I want to do something before I talk to him, but I can't remember what it is. Oh well, I guess we're talking to him. Yo! Oh good, you came. Uh, um... What's wrong, Kato? Why did you call me out of here all of a sudden? I mean... See, since I was chosen as an astronaut trainee, I've trained every day, but I haven't done any training here at all. At this rate, I'll get all week, so... Got it! Join me, Suichi. Huh? What? Why me? All right. Doesn't matter. Let's get started. Take off your coat. Wait! Wait, why? Shut up! Instead of complaining, just do 50 push-ups. I don't know how it happened, but before I knew it... 
I was doing push-ups with Kato in the, in the courtyard in the middle of the night while he went into my jacket pocket and switched the monocub pads so that I, he, he had my motive and I had his, sorry, so that he had his motive and I had mine. <sighs> Pant, Herc, Herc, why do I why? have to do this? Now's not the time to use your head. Now's the time to move your body. <laughs> What's the matter? Slowing down already? I never do push-ups. My arms are giving out. Hey, don't say that. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. The impossible is possible. What the? That logic makes no sense. Damn. <laughs> Somehow I managed 50 push-ups, but my body was spent. I collapsed on the grass, panting. Pant, pant. Jeez. Jeez, that's pathetic, man. Getting tired from only 50 push-ups. Got it. Well, that's enough for now. We'll pick back up tomorrow. Huh? We're doing this again tomorrow? Huh? Huh? Well, yeah. You gotta do daily training every day, right? But... <clears throat> but why do I gotta do this, Kato? I mean... Because this training's for you. Huh? For me? <laughs> when I look at you, I can't help but get frustrated. Ask myself... Is the one Katie entrusted her wish to really this week? I mean... You've been holding yourself back since then, haven't you? Do you think Katie died because you made a wrong deduction? Do you think you killed her? Uh, okay. Yes, I do, Kato. Because of my detective work, she set up that... Dumbass! What are you saying? That was all her fault. Listen up! Her sins and her regrets are, are hers alone. You'll only make her w worry about you if you try to bear all those by yourself. I don't think so, because she's fucking dead. I, I know. Damn it! I know that. I already know that. You don't have to tell me. But I can't help it, Kato. I can't stop myself from thinking about what I could have done. It's no use. I'm scared. I try hard not to be, but I'm scared. I can't stop thinking about it. The pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. All right. All right. I got it. So that's your enemy, huh? Huh? enemy i mean well you got to deal with your worries yourself i can't give an answer for those but but you know at least you know you're weak as long as you can admit that let's do it then you'll be okay you just got train and get stronger huh damn how come the one in this game that's obsessed with training actually has a character whereas the ones in you know in danganronpa 2 don't listen up listen up training is the only way to overcome your weakness but Ah, uh, but in my case, getting stronger is more of a mental concept. Don't worry about it. Your head and body are connected, right? At the end of the day, they're the same. What does that even mean? He's not making any sense. And maybe that's exactly what I need right now. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, okay. All right, Kato, I'll try. No. Uh, I mean, will you let me? I want to train with you, Kato. To get closer to defeating my enemy. Well said. Well said, bro. Bro. But I'm strict, so you better prepare yourself. Bro, huh? That's the first time he's called me that. But... Ah... Uh, but uh, perhaps you should be training too, Kato. You talk big for a guy that only did 20 push-ups. What? What? You were counting? Jeez. Jeez, you even noticed that? I guess you are the ultimate detective after all. Damn. In in the first game, isn't it right before tri tri Trial 2? That two, two people become bros and start calling each other bros. And then the bros get, get broken up. Because one of them gets killed. But you know... Uh oh And by killed, I mean executed. But, you know, the goal was just 50 anyway, so it doesn't matter if I'm a few short. Well, that's not fair at all. He just omitted some push-up, that's all. And thus, Kato and I began our training regimen. I don't really know why Kato is so concerned about me, but I suppose I can trust someone again just this time. I decided to trust Kato. I decided to trust Kato and his craziness, because by trusting him, I could get really close to him and commit my murder. Hmm. Ah, I'm so tired. I worked out for the first time in a long while. I'm completely exhausted, but it's a good kind of exhausted. Hmm. All right, now for now, sleep. I didn't have my, I didn't have any intrusive thoughts that night. As soon as my head hit the pillow, I fell into a deep, relaxing sleep. At the time, I didn't yet realize just how horrific it can be to trust someone in this place. <gasps> Monica Ma Theater. Oh, what the fuck? What kind of Jaws bullshit is this? 
What are you looking at? Who are you guys? You're probably thinking this killing game is taking forever. Someone just died already. That is what you're thinking, right? Man, you guys are messed up, but I feel the same way too. These why I want someone just die. Watching people live and die is really the best entertainment. Some people will say, what do you think life is? Honestly, life is worthless. When you die, you are quickly forgotten because there's tons of replacements out there. But if you die in a death game, everyone knows who you are. That itself is a form of happiness. Who, 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 who will find happiness next? My heart's pounding with excitement. Kind of fucked up. So the last one was the birds, right? And then this one's Jaws. I wonder what the other one was. Maybe there's one I didn't understand before. Rise and shine or sign. Oh, this sounds sad. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. Nom nom, it is now 8 a.m. Time to wake up. Nom nom. Dumbass. What are you eating? It's fine. It is okay. What do you mean? What's okay? It is now 8 a.m. It is now 8 a.m. Everybody wake up unless you are dead. Then, dis so then disregard. Then. Liz, I'll be positive and excited today. So long. So long. Farewell. Farewell. 17. It was the Texas chain, chain Massacre? Okay. Chainsaw Massacre? Okay. Uh, my body hurts. My muscles were still sore from working out. But because of that, hmm. I had a good night's sleep for the first time in a while. Perhaps even the first full night's sleep since I got here. Yeah, because you weren't raping anybody in the love key room. <sighs> it's so fucking weird. So the soreness was nice in a way. All right. All right. Breakfast. Eating a good breakfast became part of my daily routine. But -ba -bum -ba Let's save it just in case something bad happens. Because the game crashed last night. Kate is my videos on here, but we made a promise to not tell who has who has whose motive. So did did we take this with us last night and it got switched, or did we leave it here? I can't remember. Maybe we just left it. I mean, he just said that Kato's motive is on here. Does that mean he played it again to check, or is he just assuming? Like he might just be assuming. Oh, Suichi. Ah, oh. uh, Ryoma, are you headed to the dining hall? No, Humph. If I went there the way I am now, I'd just ruin the mood. I was wondering, when you were in Katie's room, Katie's lab the other day, did you find any simple plan albums? I would like some music that matches my mood. Hey! Listen, I can't even begin to imagine what your life has been like. I know that this is going to sound cliche, but okay. you shouldn't give up on life. If you keep living, I'm sure good things will happen. <laughs> good things, huh? But Good things are when your wishes, hopes, or dreams are fulfilled, right? What does that have to do with someone like me with no wishes, hopes, or dreams? Uh, um, but more importantly, more importantly, did something happen to you? Huh? Huh? Sheesh. You haven't noticed. You look completely different from yesterday. <laughs> it's like your eyes have stopped focusing on the past. Humph. Your face looks more dependable. Ryoma's speech was low and melancholy as he turned and walked away. Uh, okay. Stop focusing on the past. Dramatic walk away. I hate dramatic walk away. When you see that in, uh, in TV shows and movies. Dramatic walk away. Like, it's... <laughs> it happens in so many scenes. Uh, hey, hey Suichi. I mean, Puichi. There's something I gotta ask you. Why did she correct herself? Hmm. You ever hear about back items in casinos? Huh? Back items? What are those? <laughs> he, you wanna know more? You do, right? I'm your niece. Then bow down to me, worm. Wait. Where is this coming from? Listen up. Last time, when you and Katie bowed to me, it felt so good that I had to put on dry panties. So do it again. Come on, come on. Hurry up. Make with the bowing already. Uh, um, Sorry, I'm not going to do that. See you later. What? Hey, huh? Well, wait a minute. You, you don't need to bow. Just listen to what I got to say. She wants my attention. Well, I do kind of want to know what she's talking about. I suppose I'll listen to her. You're right. All right, I'll, he I'll hear you out. What is a back item? Um, so, so if you have a certain item, you can play a back game sponsored by Monokuma himself. It can be traded at a higher rate, and if you do well, you can earn quite the fortune. A back game? I have a bad feeling about this. If I remember uh, wait a minute. Is that item... This medal? It commemorates the founding of the casino, after all. What was that? What, what the... 
Really? You made a discovery that even I, the gorgeous girl genius Miura Ruma, couldn't find. How could I be bested by the, be the beta of all betas? Damn. No. You came to me. <laughs> no. No. We came and we spoke to her. Dumbass Suichi. I knew coming to you was a good idea. What with you being a detective and all, you managed to track down that metal coin like I knew you would. Ha, I'm so that awesome. Let's bring that metal coin to that casino. Would you like to, is this an event? I guess it is. Hmm. I'm a bit worried about Monokuma, but I'm more worried about what will happen if we ignore it. Let's see what happens just in case. Ha <laughs> <laughs> just as I predicted. Detectives get excited for casino games, just like boys get excited for holes. Out of my way! Come to the casino once you're done eating, and don't forget to bring that medal. Okay. Ah, got it. Ha <laughs> Well, I guess I'll finish eating. I'm hesitant, but I don't want to ignore it if it has the potential to be a problem. That's okay, right? Uh, do we go there now, chat? Or do we... Like, what do we do? She said done eating, so I think after breakfast. So let's see what happens. Ah, good morning, Suichi. Hey. Good morning, Sumugi. Are you headed to the dining hall? Yeah. Yeah, well, not because anyone told me to or anything. I just felt like it. That reminds me. Oh, that me. reminds me. Have you gone to the casino, Suichi? I find myself there sometimes. I've never seen most of the games they have there. Could it be? <clears throat> Do you think Monokuma made them? If so, I regret getting hooked on one of them. Hmm. You're hooked on one, it's huh? It's plain to see. I'm just plain confident in my gaming skills. Would you like to play together sometime? Ah, uh, um, uh, sure, if we get the chance. Uh... No, I'm good, thanks. Oh, sorry, we should, pro we should stop talking about stuff like this and go to the dining hall already. I'm gonna go on ahead. Just, just fucking plainer than a bagel with, like, no cheese or butter. Like, like holy shit. Could be any more plain? Uh, thank you, Weebazaki, for the new sub. Welcome to the Dragon Sen, Weebazaki. Mm. Thank you so much. Um, and thank you, KCMCG, for the for the four month resub as well. Thank you so much, KCMCG. That was a little while ago. Sorry. Thank you very much. Uh, action Cater is supposed to say, when Mio gives you a, that bath box, the game should have actually given it to you as an actual present you can give another character, and then you should have given it to Maki so she can respond, the fuck is wrong with you, and never speak to Sushi again. <laughs> yeah, I know you hate this game, but what do you think about the characters so far? I don't hate this game. Um, the characters so far are okay. It's, it's a decent cast. I don't know if it's the best cast or if all three casts are about, about the same. I think I'll always have a soft spot for the first cast though. According to my calculations, not everyone has gathered today. I suppose so. You can see that without doing any calculations. Jeez, Jeez what's everyone else doing? It seems as if... It seems Mackie has chosen to spend all her time inside her ultimate research lab. I'm not sure what she's doing in there, but she has no intention of leaving. What was that? What does the ultimate child caregiver gotta do in her research lab anyway? She's not the ultimate child caregiver. Huh? Maybe she's hiding a bunch of kids in there that she's secretly taking care of. Uh, um. <laughs> and she's gonna un and unleash them on the school after she teaches them, teaches them how to kill. <laughs> what? She's not this, some stray dog on the streets raising pups. Um. I also saw Kochiki and Gonta sneaking around together. Uh. A couple of virgins sneaking around sounds like bad news to hey. me. Uh, I saw Ryoma on my way here, but he said he wasn't coming today. Hmm. I see. Well, we don't need that guy around here until he's got his head on straight. <laughs> How did the famous Ryoma Hoshi... Hoshi? 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 End up like that. What? The famous Ryoma Hoshi? Uh... Moving along. Don't we all know that? We knew that. So is he... Is that meant to be a clue? Like, oh, holy shit, he knows about the motive? Because how else would he know? Were we the only ones that knew that? I can't remember. Uh, what are those two doing? What is that? is rather strange. Angie is the same as ever, but it seems Himoko is praying too. Whatever could be going on? Um, 
What's Angie doing with Himoko? What's going on? Or Himiko? Is it Himiko or Himoko? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get it wrong no matter what. What are Kochiki and Gonta up to? Oh my god, did those virgins finally get so pent up that they turned on each other? Damn, I fucking hope so. Hey, best boy. Shuichi. Hey, bro, did you sleep well last night? Okay. Uh, yeah, I really... Thank you, Kato. My muscles are still sore. All right. That's what I thought. You look refreshed. Huh? huh? Did you call Suichi your bro? When did you two become bros? Huh. It's no big deal. I'm just training Suichi is all. <laughs> a bromance? Gross. I guess virgins are just magnets for each other. Wait. No, no. It's not like they're using a stand or anything. Is that a motherfucking JoJo reference? Of you. Neither of us ha has exchanged our motive videos with another, correct? As long as murder remains a possibility, we must not watch those videos. You're right. I see you agree with us, Kurumi. Hmm. It's rare I hear you speak your opinion like that. That is. I do so. I do so to safeguard Katie's final request. Her request was that we all live, and I believe the course of action will fulfill that request. There is no shame in choosing to retreat for the sake of one's survival. I'm worried. Himoko is acting rather odd. I do not fully understand what she is doing. Okay, we, talk, we spoke to everybody that matters. All right. Do, 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 do. Um. Ah, uh, hey, what are you guys doing? Prayer time. Prayer time, prayer time, prayer time. Praying to Atua, of course. Mm. Praying to Atua. Huh? You too, Himoko? And as long as I pray like this, I don't need to waste my energy on useless stuff. Wait, useless? No matter what happens or what trouble lies ahead, my heart will be calm. I'll commit that to my memory bank. I see. It's escapism. That's not right. No, she has merely abandoned reality to speak to Atua. Actually, that is escapism. Oh my! Really? I didn't know that. You gotta be kidding. Hey Angie, when did you brainwash Himiko? Yeah. <laughs> On the contrary, I've undone her brainwashing. Mm. Uh, I was brainwashed before, back when I didn't feel the presence of Atua. <laughs> it seems it's too late. Himiko! Himiko, please get a hold of yourself. You have to face reality. Please! Hey, Himiko! Himiko! Stop it. So stop it. When you interrupt me, it messes up my calm heart. I I remembered this nightmare reality I'm in. All my insecurities and loneliness, the pain that made me want to die. Yeah. Sheesh, Tenko, don't interrupt Himiko while she's praying. Then, smiling as always, Angie walked up to Himiko and... Mm -hmm. oh, oh. One of these are dead. Yeah. Mm, nah. Okay, actually, a lot of people could be dead. I like that they're that they're they're giving a lot of characters development, so you can't guess who it is just from that. I understand, Himiko. You're not actually scared. You're just sad, aren't you? You feel frustrated, anxious, and worried, but you have no one to confide in, do you? It's okay. You're not alone, Himiko. I know a handsome god who is keeping a watchful eye on you. Uh, handsome god? Ah! Nah, <laughs> what a mysterious miracle. I'm not scared anymore. Thanks, be to uh, How wonderful. It's all thanks to that handsome god. Hey! Huh? What handsome god? Wait, Himiko, you like handsome men? Why can't it be me? You. Are you... Playing for the other team? Uh -huh. Huh? Uh huh? What are you talking about? It's nothing like that. Hey! Hey, Angie, what did you do to Himiko? Huh? huh? What did I do? What a surprise! I did something? I did? What did I do? Yup, yup! Ah, yes, yes. Atua has spoken to me. I shall convey his message to everyone. Huh? Where is this conversation going? Anyway, what was Atua's message? It concerns me a little. What? How did the conversation end up here? Jeez. Ugh, excuse me, girls' conversations are always like this. They jump around so much I can't keep up. That's not really important right now, Kato. Okay, fuck it, let's just keep pushing. Hey! 
Angie, what are these divine messages? Uh... Atua says that this academy suffers from the same sins as the outside world. You're all unhappy because cause your greed is making you treat each other like adversaries. Atua, Atua spoken. spoken. Your desire to leave this place is only worsening your greed. Uh, greed? Um... Cause Atua says so. Cause it's a game, so we must cast aside that sinful greed and rejoice in our new lives here. Mm. You, so you are saying we should live here for the rest of our lives? No, no. No, no, that's wrong. How divine! It's not enough to simply live here forever. Our lives must also be full of divine purpose. In other words, yes, yeah, see. We must make this academy heaven on earth. What? And then? In doing so, our desire to leave will vanish and the killings will cease. That's... Are you being serious right now? Because... This place provides us all with shelter, food, clothing, and wonderful friends. We'll get punished. What more could you possibly desire? Do not give in to your greed. What? What? Himiko! Himiko, do you hear this nonsense? Snap out of it. Cut it out! Atua's divine messages are never wrong. I mean, Angie's right. There's no other way out of here. Like, she's right. Huh? What? Uh, yep. She's she's fucking batshit, but she's right. Himiko is a good girl and a fast learner. And then? Together, we devised a truly divine plan. Nah, <laughs> the best plan ever to help us live lives of fulfillment here. Huh? The best plan? Here! Tell them, Himiko. Everyone! Make them burst with happiness. <sighs> Creepy Owie is right. Nah, <laughs> explode with excitement. It's finally happening. Great, huh? The amazing Himiko's magic show is finally opening. And guess what? It's real magic. Huh? A magic show. <laughs> Don't worry, admission is free. Er, actually, I guess admission will just be your smiles. <sighs> Over the years, my show has given many smiles to people with broken hearts. Now is the time to demonstrate my powers. With my magic. My magic is the only thing that can heal your twisted hearts. Hmm. Oh, please let her do some like fucking saw man in half, and and it actually happens, and then it's like, oh no, please, 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 please let a trick go badly. But in our current predicament, performing magic tricks is quite illogical. Stop it. Nah, don't disturb my concentration. You've got to learn to read the mood already. And it's called a magic show because I do magic, not tricks. So screw your magic show. I don't get excited about that crap. Wait, why? And I hope that's the next one too because then it means the swimming pool is just misdirection. Awesome. You're way too excited. Oh, too bad they ruined that. the whole fucking game in the first trial. Nah, the show opens tomorrow morning. Come to the gym after the morning and oh, it's in the gym. Never mind. It's gonna use the swimming pool. I spoke too soon. You guys better get excited and look forward to it with antis anticipation. Say. Surely you mean anticipation, or have I misunderstood the nature of this show? Well then. Himiko and I will begin the prep work, and I'm supposed to ask others to help too. Bayonara! I'm counting on you guys to help. Nah, <laughs> bayonara! <sighs> Alright, see you later, cre creepy owie. Nah, <laughs> farewell. After announcing their show before anyone could react, Himiko and Angie left the dining hall. Himiko? Himiko, what happened to her? Oh dear. Hehehe. <laughs> hey, as intense as this can be quite terrifying. <laughs> there may be no cause for concern. This does not appear to be related to our motive videos. Come on, man. You're only worried about that? I'm worried. Of course, we cannot afford to take Monokuma's motives light lightly. <laughs> but everyone who isn't here could be showing each other their videos, right? The fuck you just say? You mean Kochiki, Gonta, and Ryoma? No. No, I don't think that's it. Even with three people, there's a, there's a low probability of them having each other's motive videos. It seems unlikely that one of them would show a motive video without seeing their own in return. So I don't think a video exchange in a small group like, like that is likely. True. It's still possible though. I see. That is true. Well done! Yeah, not bad. That's the ultimate detective for you. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Um... I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. The same goes for Angie and Himiko. <laughs> Uh, give Himiko back. What do you think? 
For now, let us have some breakfast, shall we? I have prepared meals for everyone. Of course, I will deliver meals to those who are not currently present. Ah. You don't gotta do that. I'll eat their portions. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Kato, don't push yourself too hard. My magic will tear you apart. Uh, SCP-0049 SCP has used hundreds to say, Hey Joe, I just want to say, you have grown on me, and I enjoy your weep streams very much. Oh, that's nice. Thank you very much, SCP. Thank you. I'm glad I'm glad to, 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 to have grown on you. Are all of my streams weeb streams now? Or do you just enjoy the weeb stream specifically? Uh, I can't get Jay Memerson back has gifted a sub to Atua. Whoa, wow. Welcome, Atua. <laughs> Welcome to the Rubber Dub Sub Club, Atua. Praise be. Thank you, I can't get uh, Jay Emerson back. Uh, Thorn Shadow used some bits to say, Sushi and Kato equals Hitler guy and butter. Yep, that's what that's what I said earlier. Yep, we're bros. We're bros now. And the Hawker has subscribed to Prime for the first time. Welcome to Prime Time, the Hawker. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Please enjoy our emotes. After I help the stuffed Kato to his room, I return to my own. Damn, we're so bros. More free time. Bzz, bzz, I should go to the casino. I did promise me you. Shuichi. Wait up, Suichi. Huh? Huh? Kochiki and Kyo and Ryoma? <laughs> Fucking virgin. Looks like this looks like this pubeless virgin. <laughs> Was eavesdropping on us. <laughs> As an evil supreme leader, I can't pass up the chance to watch you win a jackpot. That's correct. Ryoma and I have just arrived as well. Yeah. This place this place is pretty suspicious. We better investigate it thoroughly. Hey! hey. Well, well, we can play some secret game with Suishi's medal, can't we? Damn. Huh? What? Who came up with that rule? Fucking moron! You, Dub, the you, the doy. Who else could it be? No, no. But it wasn't me. The fuck you just Qu say? Qu quit fucking around. <sighs> I'm not playing dumb. I never tell a lie except when I do, cause bears do not lie. <laughs> That's not very persuasive. Hey, um... First of all, that medal is just a special knickknack I made for the Mono Cubs. There's no reason for you guys to have it. Stick it in the slot machine if you want. So we can use it even though it's supposed to be a special item. Why you? What? You mean I got fake info? Oh man. Where did you get the info from, you? Typically useless, Mio. You would you would get tricked around by fake info like that. <sighs> Jeez. Well, it's fine if it was just fake info. It's not the reason I came here anyway. Oh, best boys here. Whoa. Oh, what are you guys doing here? Hmm. Ah, Kato. Why are you here, Kato? I thought you swore off gambling forever. All right. Hold up. Why do you think I came here to gamble? Wait, how does he know that? I don't think he was here for that one. I guess they had a conversation about it. Well, Would one come here for some other reason? Nah. No, you're wrong. I didn't come here to gamble. I'm Kaito I just don't understand why Luminary the instincts of, the of Kato Momata, Luminary of the Stars, were off. Oh, I see. So you're po so, whoa, wrong voice. So you're positive you'll win it this time? Kato, it's good to be confident, but not when you're wrong about everything all the time. What? Huh? You take that back. Don't screw around! Don't you dare underestimate the instincts of Kato Mamata. I challenge you, Kochiki. <laughs> <laughs> I accept your challenge. Oh. He's so easily manipulated. <laughs> <laughs> so simple. Like a moth to a flame. Or a weave to a waifu. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Kato, Kochiki, Korokikio, Ryoma, and I. Too many K names. The five of us each used our coins and, and competed at the slot. Slot, 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 slots. I'd been roped into it before I even realized it. Ah, who cares? 
Damn. Roped again by Yusuke. Wait, why am I getting shoved aside? On, you might rig the slot machine so it wouldn't be a fair match. Huh? What? No, 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 no fucking way I'd ever do that. <laughs> oh, it's written all over your face that you would. All right. Well then, let's start. The competition was over in a heartbeat. What? what? Why? Why? But when I'm, I'm oh. Kaito Momota, Kaito. luminary of the stars. Kaito lost in a land landslide. Whoa! That was so awesome, Ryoma! Winning at something like this isn't anything to brag about. Against all odds, Ryoma won in the landslide. Hey, do you have some sort of trick? Nothing like that. I've just got a knack for it, I guess. <laughs> what? What? You mean that you're lucky? That's just superstition. What is it? I cannot ignore that comment. Do not relegate luck to the realm of superstition. Yeah, he, this guy This guy hates, uh... He hates the occult, right? No, he doesn't. Who hates the occult? Kaito hates the occult. Okay. Not this guy. He hates air conditioning. Ooh. My Kochiki E senses are tingling. Kyo's about to give an an anthropology lecture. Yes. For example, it is said that certain words or phrases will jinx a difficult challenge. And then you say, is this what is known as a jinx? This is deeply connected to the Japanese concept of Kotodama, the power of words. <laughs> like saying green if you want me to go harder or red if you want me to stop. Say. Please be silent. Why? What? I'm just trying to lighten up the mood. So then. Katadama is a belief that words contain power that can influence reality itself. Speaking positive words leads to fortune, and negative words lead to misfortune. Right? Yeah, like when you rephrase a sentence so it doesn't sound as unlucky. I see, yes. Yes, when someone facing a challenge hears negative words, they might feel it is unlucky. That feeling of misfortune may then affect their focus or motivation, yes? Hmm. I see. In that case, perhaps the belief in superstition is, is what affects them. No. I don't let silly things like that affect me. I win simply because I'm confident in my skills. That's all it takes. That's correct. Yes, and words have the power to grant or rob someone of such confidence. Words are powerful. Truth or lies may both be fired as powerfully as a bullet from a gun. Okay. I see. I guess you can't under you can't underestimate luck. Hey, so. Hey, Ryoma, didn't you have any pregame rituals or anything or yeah. something? Well, now that you mention it, I rub every coin that I put on the machine on a special place. When I was playing a match, if I entered the court with my right foot, it'd go well. So I did the same thing with this slot machine here. <laughs> oh, but that's it. So complete superstition. <laughs> yeah. Hee hee hee. I bet your racket bends to the right too. Listen. Please be silent. Forever. What did Stop I do? Stop glaring at me. It was just a joke. All right. All right. Then I'll give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> You're so gullible, Kate. Kaido. Kaito. Kaito. Ryoma wins again. Too bad. <laughs> Serves you right. Why don't you give it a tug with your other hand? Ooh. Luck alone doesn't produce results as consistent as these, Ryoma. Well, of course. If I was just lucky, I wouldn't be undefeated on the court. You know, Kaito, you don't have any skills when it comes to gambling. Shut up! My skills are suited for the universe! That's why they don't work on gambling! I can't waste them on that. What kind of fucking skills you have on a fucking slot machine? That's why I don't gamble anymore. Yeah, I think that's for the best. I took a very depressed Kaito back to his room, never turned to mine. Free time, free time, free time, free time. Bonus free time. Bonus free time. Kochiki and Ganta, Angie and Himoko, and Ryoma and Maki too. 
everyone's all over the place, but I shouldn't just leave them be. There has to be something I can do. Yes, I'm going to do something about this. Fuck yeah, let's go hang out with best boy. Best boy, best boy. Uh, did Mondo get turned into butter because he was actually softer than he let on? Maybe. He was a- I think he was secretly a softy, yeah. Uh, the way- the way that trial went down, yeah. I think he was secretly a softy. Thank, thank you for the bits, uh, Jay Emerson. Uh, Action Caterer says, I'll catch the tail end of the stream. Got to go have fun, Joe. See you later, Action Caterer. Uh, Persistence Gaming has resubscribed for two months. Thank you very much for the resub. Two month resub, Persistence Gaming. Thank you so much. Thank you for being persistent. With, with the resub. Uh, Horox1 has resubscribed for four months. Thank you very much, Horox1. Thank you, thank you. And thank you to Devil58 as well for the eight month resub. So thank you again, Devil58 and Horox1. Oh, and Not a Wizard has resubscribed for 11 months. Joe, I think you are the ultimate coin weeb. Coin weeb? What's a coin weeb? Coin weave my balls. Yeah, thank you again. Uh, Persistence Gaming, Horox One, Double Fifty Eight, and Not a Wizard. Uh, should we take a break? Let's take a break. Do you guys want to see during break? Let's see Best Boy, other Best Boy, or Chat's Best Boy. This is Chat's Best Boy. There you go. Let's take a break. Here are some uh, bag scum ads coming your way. See you in five minutes, go brush your teeth.
Um, would it be a spoiler to know how many uh, how many free time events I'm gonna get all told to, to to max characters? Like, would it be a spoiler to know how many characters I can actually get to five out of five? Because I'd like to pick them now and then and then go for it. I don't want to know what characters I can get, but just just how many. It would be really okay. All right, don't tell me that. Really? Hmm. Uh, I am nine 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 one thousand. Uh, has you done ever say my fa? Okay. Th thank you. I am nine 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 one thousand. Thank you very much. My fa. Right back at you. Uh, Hugh Hang has resubscribed for five months with Kappa. Ooh. Thank you for the Kappa resub, Hugh Hang. Thank you, thank you. Jay Memerson has gifted the sub to No, that's wrong. Welcome, No, that's wrong to the Dragon's Den. Thank you, Jay Memerson. Deddy, Deddy. I don't know if you can hear him. How's it going, Finn? Go see mommy, okay? Uh, Color Plant has resubscribed for three months with I was playing Red Dead Redemption 2 yesterday and tried to rob a bar. The guards beat me up and I woke up in a wagon with some blonde dude who was talking about an Imperial ambush. <laughs> oh really? That's that, that sounds kind of like uh, that sounds like something familiar, you know? Let's uh, were you under a familiar sky? I don't know. Damn, sounds suspicious. Thank you, Color Plant. Okay, I'm gonna assume that we can max out four. So, I wanna hang out with him. So one, two, three. All right, and then we have to choose between uh, Kochiki and Maki. Hmm. I feel like she's gonna be dead soon. Just have a feeling, man. Maybe not. I felt the same way about him, though, and, and now I'm now I'm feeling. And now I think I might be wrong. Anyway, let's go hang out with uh, with Kaido because he's our bro. He's our jabroni. He's in his room. You. Ugh, how could I have eaten so much? It was pathetic of me. Should I hang out with Kaido for it? Yeah, let's give him some food yeah. as a present. Okay, let's run. I'm gonna run off all that food. Oh damn, it had like a the hangout was responded to what happened before the the uh the free time. Damn, that's cool. Uh Kaido and I did some laps around the courtyard. I mean technically he went and gambled for three hours, but yeah, that's fine. Uh Ka Kaido and I grew a little closer today. What should I give him? What present should I give him? Plastic moon buggy model? A plastic model of an actual buggy used by astronauts on the moon. It looks plain, but it's actually filled with burning passion. Yeah, fuck that. We're gonna get to him. Are you serious? Uh, are you serious? I didn't think you could even find this around here. Huh. As expected. No, great job. I'm so happy. Leave it to me. You got something to tell me? Don't hold back. I'll listen. Love you, bro. You're pretty enthusiastic about then... this. Uh, well, you're an astronaut trainee, right, got Kaido? It. Sure, Kaido. Sure I am. I'm still a trainee, but I'm going to be accepted for sure. But... Training to be an astronaut must be hard. Can you handle it? Huh. No problem. My training is a piece of cake. How is there a space program when the world fucking ended? Uh, we don't know how long it's been. Uh, Kaido was grinning at me, but then his expression turned serious. You know. Well, to be honest, it's about as intense as intense can get. But the universe is harsh. You've got to be able to handle any situation. Harsh. Any I situation. Mean, 
The first two years is basic training. It's pretty straightforward. You learn the skills needed to be an astronaut, medicine, aeronautical engineering, scuba diving, linguistics, survival training. You pretty much just got to master everything. Mm. Survival training, you have to do that got too? It. Yeah, for emergencies where I got to make an unexpected return from space. That's right. I suppose you do risk your life to be an astronaut. Ah, oh. uh, that reminds me. I remember watching something on the news. There's a training facility for astronauts on the bottom of the ocean, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty famous. It's a little different from basic training, though. Listen up. All right, pop quiz. What's the most important thing an astronaut needs? Uh, um... uh, healthy body, talent, perseverance. Did he tell us and we have to say it? A talent? Not a talent. A healthy body, perseverance. It's one of these two. Let's go healthy body. That's true. A healthy body? Ah. Yeah, that's true. You bring up a good point. But you know, <clears throat> but there's something more important than that, and that thing is. Listen up. Communication. The most important thing for an astronaut is teamwork. The universe is a frontier that the people of the world challenge together, and since we need to work together, communication is vital. You're right. That does sound quite important. Huh. Right? They check that in the recruitment exam. That's why you need language training. It makes up a fourth of basic training. Of course, I can speak Japanese, English, and Russian all fluently. I didn't just learn the languages; I had to learn each culture too. The culture, huh? I never thought I'd hear Kaido. Ah, wait. Now I think about it. He can speak multiple languages, is well learned, and has what it takes to be an astronaut. He's the ultimate husbando. I've been underestimating him. Kaido is incredible. Damn. Damn it. I want to get back to training. The universe is getting away from me. The world needs this luminary of the stars to shine even brighter. I don't have the heart to tell him that I'm not so sure about that. Kaido and I went our separate ways on our return to my room. There's still some time left. <clears throat> ding dong. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Huh? I guess that's Kaido, but is he here to train already? Weren't we supposed to train at night? It's a little early. Okay, let's guess. Let's guess. It's not Kaido. It's Mackie. Then the moment I opened the door. Oh, God damn it, it was Kaido. Suichi, run! Huh? Huh? What happened? Damn. Don't just stand there, run, hurry, he's coming. What happened? Who's coming? What? G Kaido risked a glance down the hallway and immediately stiffened up in fear. <laughs> damn it, he's already here. Hurry, Suichi, run! Just. Shuichi. If we both make it out of this alive, let's train again. Ah! Oh. What? Uh, Kaido, Kaido, Kaido gave his gave his ominous warning, then ran away at light speed. Huh? What? Who are you talking about? I peeked through the gap in the doorway to discover what Kaido was so terrified by. Why did we just lock the door? Huh? What? What? Oh damn! He he's realized that he's the ultimate talent. Oh no! Oh no, he's realized that he's he's Mercuri Ikusaba, huh? That's Gonta, isn't it? He looks different. What's going on? What's going on? It looks like he's checking each room. He'll be at my door soon. I don't know what he's up to. I don't to, know what he's up it's to. It's probably but better not to be here. Can we not lock doors? I thought we could lock the door. I thought it was specifically said that we could lock the door. Careful to avoid alerting Gonta, I quietly tiptoed down the hall. Maybe he could bust down the door? I stealthily made my way to the courtyard. What was that all about? What was Gonta up to? Gonta's got a gun. Yeah. Gonta's got a gun. From the looks of it, you ran away from Gonta too. Ah. Ryoma. What now? I don't know why, but it seems like he's gone into a rage and is trying to catch everyone. He keeps yelling. I found horse A, where's horse B? Hump, he was charging right at me at top speed. Huh? He threw himself right at you and you managed to get away? That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I used the Suchuchi method, a technique from my tennis days. Like a flash step, you know? Of course, I've gotten rusty since back in the day, but. You've still got a ways Gons to still go. still got a ways to go. He won't be able to catch me like that. Suchiki, Ryoma must have been an incredible player back in the day. By the way. By the way, I'm sorry. 
for saying something so uncool like, I've got no reason to live. Huh? Ah, uh, no, you don't have to apologize. However... I'm going to say this so we're clear. I'm not so stupid that I'd waste my life. I only said something like that because I was jealous of Why? You. Jealous? Yeah. If I had a stronger attachment to life, I could try my best alongside you all. Hmm? Hmm. Suddenly, Ryoma ducked down, taking cover. When I looked to find what had scared Ryoma, I saw... I mean, like, we just stayed right there outside the are. place where he is. Hey, where are you going? Huh? Gonta? Sorry, Shuichi, but I'm gonna run. I've still got things I need to do. No! Gonta no can let you leave. Sorry, but it's for your own good. Dan, what, what did Kochiki do to you? Gonta charged at us like a runaway train, and then he never coming back. I lost consciousness. I didn't even feel the impact. Didn't have time to scream. My world turned dark. And in this pitch black world, I thought to myself, this is what it's like to die. I can't die yet. Uh, Morning, sleepyhead. You're finally up, Shuichi. Huh? What? Me? Are you gonna ask, who am I? And where am I? Well, you're definitely Shuichi Saihara. And this place is... Hmm... I guess hell. Hell? I shook my head, confused. I looked around. This is the Netflix and chill look, right? Hmm... Is this... <gasps> oh, you're awake. This is the ultimate entomologist's research lab. He's collecting us like bugs. Huh? The ultimate entomologist lab. Why? Ah, oh. I remember I was attacked by Gonta, and That's then correct. the same is true of the rest of us. We were all seized by Gonta and brought here. Okay, so I like this chapter so far because it it, it keeps setting up fake things that are that are gonna happen. They might happen later, but it's like okay, it's really obvious that it's gonna be about the swimming pool, and then it's like oh wait, now now they're saying that there's this there 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 um. Uh, there's gonna be a magic show. It's like, oh, okay. I guess it's gonna be the magic show. And now out of nowhere, Gaunt has gone nuts and has and has abducted us. So I, I I like that. I don't know which one it's gonna end up being for the murder, but I do like that it that it's it's uh it's it's mixing things up. It's not being so straightforward. Um. But Sushi's the only one who got knocked out. By the way, Gonto apologized for that. Apparently, he couldn't slow down in time when he tried to grab you. Why? What is this anyway? Why did Gonta do this? Oh my. It's because of that guy. He was provoked by that guy. My eyes followed where Sumugi was pointing. <laughs> There's no use trying to escape. Gonta will just catch you again. Runaway train never coming back. Runaway train Looks like it's gonna get in some Let's try leaving. Oh, man. Like I said, if you try to escape, Gonto will catch- you will just catch you again, you know? Well, I'd- I'd like to find out for myself instead of just taking your fucking word for it, evil bitch. So, oh well. I couldn't stop Gonta, not even with my Neo Aikido. His power is far greater than my Neo Aikido. Damn. Beaten by a degenerate male. Say. What are Kochiki and Gonta's true aim, gathering us all together in this room? As I thought. I do not think Gonta would ever decide on his own to capture us. What is Kochiki trying to accomplish by taking advantage of Gonta's naivete? We must do it. Regardless, I cannot forgive his nonchalant attitude about using people. <sighs> Why did it have to be this room? It gives me the creeps. Yeah, you could just like <sighs> fucking just I just fucking just the nothing character. No. Is this your doing, Kochiki? Did you have gone to kidnap us? <laughs> <laughs> He's so simple-minded. Um... As soon as I told him, 
as soon as I told him what that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them, he started crying and said that he would get you guys to love bugs or something like that. So that means... And that's why we're all here. Welcome to the mandatory insect meet and greet. Oh, Gonta thought up the oh Gonta thought up the name. So if you don't like it, voice your complaints to him. That's terrible. You're terrible. You tricked Gonta. Right? Isn't it great? Only an evil supreme leader like me could do something so evil. Kokichi. Kochiki, why are you doing this? Ah. Oh, I thought we could throw ourselves a little screening party with all our videos. See? With all you here, exchanging our motive videos wouldn't be that difficult at all. <laughs> and I want to see your videos too, so I figured we could all binge watch them together. Please, wait! Do, do you know what will happen if you do that? Um, um, everyone will know their motive and a killing will be more likely to happen. But... But I like playing on mean difficulty. Also, I don't run from battles in RPGs either. I want to win this killing game, so I'm not going to run from it. I'm going to crush it. Just like I crush... How exciting! That'll be way less boring, don't you think? Huh? What the hell does that mean? See? I tried to warn you guys. I told you that we shouldn't cooperate with each other. <laughs> Plus, if I'm going to do this, then I got to enjoy myself and just go all the way. If the thought of playing a death game doesn't excite you, you'll never win. Understand? Strangely, I could detect no evil in his smile as he said that. It was an innocent smile, like a frolicking Hajime. Although, perhaps, it was just another lie. Hey! Thank you for waiting. Gonta, bring Himoko and Angie. What? Huh? Himoko and Angie, too? Aww. Aw oh, man, and I was about to take a break too. I just finished all the prep work. Mm -hmm. Nah, what's the meaning of this? Himiko! Himiko, are you okay? My saliva makes injuries heal faster. Piece of cake! Does your face hurt? Do you want me to spit on your face and make it feel better? Stop it. No. Hey! Hey, Gonta, are these the only ones you brought back from the Gaim? Mm. Oh, Kirumi at Gaim, but she tell Gonta she too busy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hmm? And you just let her go? Atua, has Atua says Kirumi fulfills any request someone makes of her, like a mommy. Hey! Ah, she's not a mom though. Wait, what request? Uh... I requested that she sew the curtains. I don't think even Gonta can disturb her. Sorry! Sorry, not even Gonta strong enough to overcome Kirumi. Hmm. Hmm, well, I guess at least one of you is worthy of being called an ultimate. By the way. Well, nothing we can do about her. Are the others still hiding somewhere? Um... Oh, Gonta see Mew, but Gonta's face get red hot, so Gonta no could bring her. Hmm? Your face got hot? You mean you were hot on her trail, right? <laughs> no, um, she used her, what she call it, secret woman weapon, and then... What? Anyway, this is enough people, right? Insect meet and greet is off to smashing start. Maybe. Yeah, sure, this is good enough. We should move on to the main event anyway. You can't! Gonta don't be deceived. He just used you to abduct us all. <gasps> Huh? Really? Nuh-uh. No, this is for the insect meet and greet. I like bugs even more than you do, Gonta. Hmm? Oh, more than Gonta? Amazing, you like bugs that much? Oh dear. It would appear further argument is a useless endeavor. Damn. Damn, he likes bugs and is the ultimate liar? He fucking Kochiki really is Todd Howard. Hey, hey. Now, Gonta, go ahead and teach them just how wonderful bugs are. Leader of an evil supreme organization? Damn. I gotta run an errand, but I'll be back. Don't let them leave, okay? All right. If they try to leave, it means you gotta really show them why bugs are so great. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. Could it be... Wait, you're leaving? Yeah. Of course. Someone's gotta break into your rooms to get the goods. Hee hee hee. Lockpicking is a cinch for an evil supreme leader like me. What? What? You're going to enter a girl's room without permission? If I must. It seems I must be the one who will take care of this. With my talent, Kochiki, I will stop. You're so dumb. Yeah, yeah, I don't have time to listen to some robot. Um... Let's see, it's exactly 9 p.m. right now. I should be back by nighttime. Uh, why don't we just stop him? Like, Gaunt is not good. Well. Ooh. Ooh. 
Genkihi, it appears we are caught in Kochiki's trap. What should we do? What should we do? At this rate, it'll end up as a motive video screening party. <laughs> my my Neo Kido is no match for Gonta Super Game Strength. Yeah, but he, Kochiki's not here anymore, and Gonta seems to realize that what's going on. Like, no, 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 no. Hey, everyone. Eh, whatever. We still have a chance when Kochiki comes back. That's when I will take care of this. Everyone, please just endure it until then. Huh? Endure it. Everyone play nice. Okay, now we start the fun, fun insect meet and greet. Joe, I like this part. Joe, five minutes later, what the fuck is this? Yeah, just because I say I like it doesn't even have to like all of it or like it forever. Like they just showed that that Kurumi just basically said, "Nah, I'm good," and Gonta was like, "Oh, okay," and and then you know, Miyu just flashed at, at Gonta, and that was enough. So I think we could walk out of here, and Gonta would be like, "Wait," and we're like, "No, we'll come back, Gonta. Don't worry." Or Kochiki has to be in, in, in with a butt meet, big bug meet and greet either. But okay, whatever. When I first woken up, Kochiki told me this was hell. It appears that wasn't a lie. The incredible specimens each gave off the appearance of vigor and vitality. And they were exactly as vigorous as they looked. With our escape route blocked off, all we could do is run around the room in a panic. Look at them in the background, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Gonta, king of bugs. <laughs> the nighttime announcement played, but it didn't save us. The insect meet and greet continued without mercy. What happened, Kokichi? You said you'd be back by nighttime. Ah, oh no! Himiko is being buried alive by insects! Oh, great. H Himiko, hold on! No, let it happen. The more you yell, the more bugs can get into your mouth. <laughs> Finally, when our bodies were completely exhausted and sleep was nearly upon us. He finally came back. Who? Oh yeah, Kochiki. Whoa! Ugh, there are bugs everywhere. How na nast, I mean, how nice. Oh. oh, you come back, Kochiki. Come, we have fun. Everyone, play We're nice. gonna have so much fun. Hmm. You know, as much as I'd love to do that, maybe we should call it a day, hmm? See? The bugs look really tired, and a gentleman knows to do things in moderation, you know? You right. Oh, Gonta, understand. Hey, hey. So you clean up while I take care of business with the others. Kochiki's hands were full of several cubs pads. Suichi, where are you going? The main event is about to start. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? The last thing I remember is Gonta releasing the bugs. Did she pass out from fear? Welp, I can understand that. Ah, <sighs> uh, so he really did get to, did go get the cubs pads. They're even in the books. Yeah, <laughs> what a divine time. My island is full of creepy crawlers. This many bugs doesn't bug me. Uh, no. Uh, I'm still okay. As a disciple of Neo Akito, it'll take more than this to break my co hey. composure. Ah, Tenko, there's a big old bug on your back. <laughs> <gasps> Wait! C calm down, Tenko. I frantically swatted the bug off her. No. Oh, I thought he was lying. It's okay. There were bugs everywhere. It's no wonder Degenerate you. Degenerate male! Degenerate male? I, I don't need help from some male. <laughs> Clearly, I haven't trained enough. As soon as I escape from this place, I will return to Master and resume my training. How terrifying. And so, we have escaped from the Maw of Hell itself, somehow. Everyone! Thank you for enduring it, everyone. This is the last chance. Please leave the rest to me. Everyone! Well, everyone have fun time meeting and greeting the bugs? Uh, okay. uh, yeah, I suppose I did. Wow. Good. Now everyone likes bugs. 
More bugs hatching real soon. Let's have fun time meeting and greeting new bugs. Okay, you guys okay? You all look like drowned sewer rats. Cause you're late. Wait. You said you'd be back by nighttime, but it's already 11 p.m. My now. Bad. Hmm. Sorry, I ran into an unexpected snafu. But. But look. <laughs> Cup pads. Gotta catch them all. I even got the pads belong to the people who aren't here. Hehehe. <laughs> he <laughs> now everyone can watch their motive video. Oh my. We said we don't want to. How exciting. Well, it's late and I'm getting sleepy, so let's start already. Hey. Start what? Well, you know. Oh, don't worry about it, Gonta. Just keep watch so these guys don't. That's enough. That's it. That's it. I won't let you do as you please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I also. I didn't want to use this unless it. I absolutely had to. It eats up a lot of my electricity. We must do but it. But that's neither here nor there. I will stop you right here, right now. Huh? Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. Kibo, what are you going to do? Uh-oh. Still glaring at Kochiki, Kibo slowly reached a hand behind his ear. It spun the mechanical parts there. He's lighting up? He's lighting up. Is he gonna self-destruct or... Huh? What's that sound? One moment, please. I'm rewinding the tape right now. The tape? Right there. Kibo shouted out and pushed his palm against his ear. That's when. Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have Gonta kidnap us? Was that my voice? This eats up a lot of electricity? <laughs> He's so simple-minded. As soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them, he started crying and said that he would get you guys to love bugs or something like that. Could this be? How about this? So what do you think? You just saw my audio recording function for the first time. What? Did he really just whip out an audio recorder like it's some kind of secret weapon? Actually, really? It's a cassette tape in this day and age? Huh? But it's metal tape, you know? Wait, why? The sound quality isn't the issue. Mm -hmm. Look, let's just put this aside now. More importantly, it seems to have worked. Does, does she know that he's not really a robot because she can, she, she can recognize shitty cosplay? There's no way he's a robot. There's no way. I refuse to believe he's actually a fucking robot. Kochiki, what do you mean? You not like bugs? Oh, man. man, now it's boring. Was it lie? You say we get them to understand how amazing bugs are. Was that lie? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you. I love bugs from the bottom of my heart. All right. Oh, so it's not a lie. Then Gonta happy. Let's have fun with bugs all night. Hey, bugs! Who want to pet more bugs? Huh? Eh? Everyone! We must run while we still can. <gasps> So we couldn't run before, but now we can? Wait, we need to take back our Cubs pads first. Tenko snatched the Cubs pads from Kochiki. Oh. Aww. And then we ran out of the lab. After leaving the room, I could still hear the muffled buzzing and Kochiki screaming. Hmm. We might be corpses by tomorrow morning. It's plain to see. Don't joke about that. What if it happens? It's just plain possible. Um. So how do we return these Cubs pads back to the rightful owners? Oh, they're gonna get mixed up. We have to Jeez. watch them all. Hmm, if the Mana Cubs were here, I'm sure they'd help us. Nah. Mana Dam. Hmm. Oh, it's just you? It's fine. The others are asleep. If you need something, I can help you. Uh, um. Uh, um, it's about the Cubs, Cubs pads. Kochiki brought them to us and... I simply need to return them. I will return each one to your respective rooms, you bastards. Ah, <laughs> uh, he left. Well, that was abrupt. Yeah, and he's he's gonna return the motives to the right rooms now. But out of all of them, we can probably trust that one, right? Well then. That's what I said I was gonna do, and that's what I did. Shall we go back to our dorms? It is well past nighttime. 
Nah, ha, ha, that's true. We have the magic show tomorrow. You're right. Because of all this, we couldn't do a rehearsal, but I'm sure it'll be a divine show. Yeah we'll be waiting for you to come watch. Hmm. Humph. <laughs> it's just the best thing. <laughs> Hope it will be waiting. She says, it's Imiko's show, not yours. Uh, um... I suppose it's all right. I just remembered I wasn't able to train with, with Kaido today. Not too bad. We can do it tomorrow night, though. It's not like I'll never see him again or anything. Worn out from all the commotion. We dragged ourselves back to our rooms. I am 991000 hmm. says, use 100% to say, my family is actually traveling to West Virginia for Thanksgiving. Oh, damn. Almost heaven. Hope you uh, don't don't bug them too much uh, singing the song. I, I had fun using that for the danger off of one stream. So, uh, using that as the musical intro. I had a lot of fun with that. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I am 991000. Uh, Neko the Cat, you said, I finally made it home. Whoop. I figured I'd give you a cheeky bit donation. So here you go. Monokuma's class trial explanation in a nutshell. So basically, I send you untrained kids out there to investigate the murder. And then ha ha you have to work out who done it. If you can figure out who off the victim, I'll execute the perp. If you can't, I'll trim the fat big time and do you all in. Sound fun? Ooh. Ooh, that sounds like, uh, if, um, Mon 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 Su Mon 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 Yusuke, that one, if, if he was, if he was to give the, uh, the explanation, that's pretty good. Uh, Thorn Shadow, you some business to say when you invite Tenko for Akito and chill, and she gives you that look. <laughs> it's close to midnight now, tomorrow's a busy day, I should get some sleep. I collapsed onto the bed and quickly fell asleep. Oh, we don't have a pad. There's no pad in our room. That's weird. I need a miracle. You pray right while you're working, living, and gambling, but miracles happen every day. For example, do you know what the odds of the earth existing are? The same as a tornado blowing through a junkyard and assembling a working car. That's a miracle. That's why us being alive on earth is a miracle. All kinds of miracles happen every day, like it's made up of little miracles, but whenever a miracle does happen, it just gets chalked up its fate of our destiny or whatever. <gasps> Be grateful for miracles that have already happened instead of hoping for new ones. If you do that, you should be able to enjoy miracles, right? Oh, that wasn't too bad. I like the Monokuma, uh, um, the Monokuma theaters. It is now 8 a.m. <laughs> so, did, were people, did people criticize the fact that the morning and nighttime announcements are the same every single time? And they're like, you know what? Fuck you. They're all, oh, they're all the same all the time? Alright, fuck you. Every single one's gonna be fucking different. Fuck you then. Oh, he left. Mon Monosuke is so impatient. He's been cranky lately, so it's making him impatient. Oh. I don't like impatient men. Let's get along. I want to get along with Mono Monosuke. All right. it's, <laughs> it's a little early, but I'll go ahead and do the nighttime announcement too. And that's that. It'll be 10 p.m. later. <laughs> it's too early. Your impatience is trying to warp time and space. So long, farewell. Ah, the rare somber. So long, farewell. Right now. Hmm. 17. Today is the day of Himoko's magic show. But the insect fiasco yesterday, now this. Do we really have time to be doing this stuff? Well, well, I suppose I shouldn't think about it so much. I'll just go to the game for now. Where's your where's the pad? Where is it? Is it not here so we so we can't inspect it? Cause then we because then we'll realize that they went into the they went back to different rooms. Cause that's kind of shit. Where pad? Where pad? Joe want to know where is cub pad? <gasps> oh, 
What? Kochiki stole it. Uh, yeah, Kochiki stole it, and then we stole them back. And then Monadam put them back in our rooms. Maybe it's on me? Um, I mean, maybe. But can I, where, can I use it? I don't think so. That's a bit shit that it's not letting me check it, but oh well. Good morning, Sumugi. Good morning. Are you okay? Are you okay? You look a bit sick. Yeah, it's just the sounds of those bugs buzzing and still in my head. Those bugs buzzing and still in my head. Even after I went to bed, I just kept hearing it, so I didn't get that much sleep. That's... Maybe there's one in your ear. Ah, that must have been rough. Gonta would be sad to hear, but I like bugs even less now. I'm glad there aren't any bugs outside Gonta's lab. Or wait, are there? Ah. Well, Gonta did say he thought he saw a really tiny bug, one, yeah. bug, bug once. Oh yeah, he did say that. But... But even with Gonta's 20 by 0 0.625 vision, he could only barely see it, right? So it isn't it possible he was just plain mistaken? No. No, actually, I really hope he was mistaken. Oh my. Uh, I'm so over bugs. I'm just going to forget last night and enjoy the magic You're show. Right. Yeah. Right. The show's in the in the in the game, right? I'm going to go ahead. Go on ahead. Yeah, I just again still like sorry, I just I just don't see how it's possible that there could be no bugs here. Like there's there's soil, there's grass, there's trees. You know even even if they found a way, if they if they put like the cage down and it's not even a wall, it's just a cage, and they somehow managed to like sterilize this whole area with some like bullshit anime magic, Bringing the rocks and the grass and the trees and everything in would like there's no fucking way that they're not gonna bring in some bugs There's it's just not possible to me There's just no fucking way like I don't I don't even know if this kind of ecosystem could survive without bugs that don't, don't 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 aren't bugs part of it Can can there be grass and trees and all this overgrowth and and all this shit without insects around like, is that even possible? Like, I don't know. All right, are we going to the gym or are we going to to the uh, to the dining hall? Like, there are flowers. How how are they pollinating? How are they? How are they being germinated? You know, like it, it doesn't have to be that. You know, it's it's not like bees aren't the only way. But at the same time, like like what? Oh well. Kurumi. Ah, Kurumi, good morning. Hey, Aoi. Good morning. Everyone has already gathered for the show. Ah, is that right? I suppose everyone's looking forward to it. Mui seems particularly excited. Her eyes were lit up like a child's. She's that excited, huh? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited too. By the way, it would seem that some outrageous events transpired last night. Yeah, Kochiki tricked Gonta into going along with his motive video screening plan, but thanks to Kibo, we put a stop to it. It's okay. I see. I see, so Kochiki truly does intend to oppose us. Please, go ahead. No matter. Let's go inside. Everyone is waiting. No, Kurumi, 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 I have a feeling that like there's going to be asked for a volunteer from the audience, and it's going to be you, Kurumi, because you like to, to go along with what people want. Kurumi, don't do it, Kurumi. Kurumi. Don't do it. Don't do it. Waifu, no. Waifu, no.
if you put up a huge glass cage, sterilize everything inside, and then plant seeds inside the dome, everything that grows will be bug free. Grass also multiplies by wind, and as do some trees and flowers, the pollen is transported the wind. Yeah, so that's what I said for, for it, but I just don't think that's, that's, that's feasible. I just don't think that's, that's possible. And it comes back like to why, why would they do that? Like there must be an answer and they must be pointing it out for some reason why there are no bugs, but I just, I don't see that being possible with the amount of soil and everything that's here. I don't know. Let's see what the game says. Let's see what the explanation is later on. Whoa, this is even nicer than I thought it'd be. Welcome to our magic show. What do you think? Isn't it divine? Okay. Uh, it is. I didn't think you would have a real stage set up. Did you and Himoko do all this? No, no. And I mean, even the um, the uh, the cage has has gaps in it, right? Like it's not 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 an airtight cage. The wall probably isn't airtight either. Like where are we? Are we in the middle of the ocean? I don't know. There's a talking bear robot show. Yeah, but it has to it has to be consistent with itself. It, it, its own rules it's pointing out that there are no bugs and it's saying that's strange so there's an answer for it like what how could it be you know and there there are rules that the the game follows you know it's it is grounded in some ways no no this would have been impossible with just two people i got others to help us like, just because there's a talking robot bear doesn't mean that everything is a-okay. Like, it doesn't matter anymore. Like, yeah, anything can happen. Who gives a shit? You know, like, no, it has to be internally consistent. Kaido and Kibo helped carry equipment for Himiko's, re for Himiko's research, research lab. I designed the stage, but Kirumi sewed the curtains. Thanks, B2 Atua. Everyone is so nice. Atua deserves all the credit. No. Damn. Uh, shouldn't everyone who worked on it get the credit? Oh, oh well, I didn't ask you to, be to help because I didn't know what you'd be useful for. That's... Fucking shade. Fucking shade. Did you really have to say I that? Don't know, anyway, I don't know. just sit tight. Once we're done preparing, we'll start right away. Huh? Done preparing? You're not ready yet? Uh, yep. The star of the show needs to settle her nerves. The star of the show requires mental preparations. <laughs> she's shaking like a leaf in the wind. Oh, damn. I hope it backfires and, and she's the one that dies. That'd be nice. Bing, 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 bong. There's a ladder here. I wonder if it was used to set up the show. Junko destroyed civilization single-handedly. You think some bugs are falling for? I'm I'm pretty sure. I, in fact, I'm not pretty sure. I'm 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 as certain as I as, as I've ever been that it would be easier to kill all the humans on the planet than it would beat all the in insects. A water tank. It looks like there's a fish inside. Is this part of the trick too? Super, 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 super Say. certain. Those fish in the tank above, are those truly? <laughs> Is it all right to use something so dangerous? Where the fuck did the fish come from? <laughs> what? <laughs> A water tank. What's this fish? Woo, 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 woo. Woo, where did the fish come from? Could it be... Himiko, are you a bit nervous? <laughs> oh, we turn into Yusuke. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Certainly doesn't look like it, just a little bit. Maybe the robot fish from you. Because the magic I'll be performing today is the extreme water magic underwater escape act. I I've never successfully cast it before. It's pretty difficult, so I'm a little nervous. Huh? You've never cast it before? Mm. And today, in order to raise the stakes, there's a time limit. If I don't escape from the tank within the time limit, piranhas will be dropped. <laughs> I'll be pureed. Huh? Pureed. This is looking a little dangerous. <laughs> the water is cloudy, so I can't see very clearly, but I do see fish swimming around. Super cloudy. Looks like a screen. Those are all piranhas, huh? They don't look like normal piranhas. Hmm. 
those piranhas. Yeah, piranha expert. Those piranhas were in my research lab. Angie said we should use them for the show. Uh, no. Wait, piranhas are way too dangerous. Ah. Uh. Ah, Tenko. Himiko. Himiko, please reconsider. They're piranhas. They're, they're they're nothing like lasagna. With my magic. This is true. No need to worry. I'll instantly kill all the piranhas with my magic. Huh? Damn. More like B.O. You're gonna kill them? I thought this was an escape trick. Um... Himiko, are you serious? <sighs> There's no way I can stop now, since Atua is watching the show and all. No! There's no such thing as Atua. Angie has brainwashed you. What was that? You don't believe in my magic? Uh, well... I... I can do it. I'm a skilled young girl. Cause I'm a mage. She psyched herself up and headed straight to the water tank. <laughs> of course, I believe in your magic. You're my precious friend, Tenko. Oh, we're just starting? Yahoo! Ready, Himiko? Did you say your prayers and use the bathroom? <sighs> nah, I said my prayers and went pee. <laughs> yeah, then let's get the show started. Is everyone here? It's starting already, but not everyone's here. Yeah. Maki, Kochiki, Ryoma, and Kaido aren't here. What happened to Kaido? I thought for sure. I thought he'd be here for sure. I wonder if something happened. This is just misdirection because there's a body in the in the pool. Thank you, Atua, for being with us today. Boo! Boo! You're supposed to thank us first! Ha 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 ha! I present to you the mysterious, the miraculous, the amazing Himiko! <laughs> the, the, the magic I will perform today is the extreme water magic. Uh, uh, underwater escape act. <laughs> if you would please turn your attention to the water tank in front of you. When the timer above the stage starts, Himiko will enter the water tank. Once she's in the tank, her assistant, me, will draw the curtain in front of the tank. After 60 seconds have passed on the timer, a separate suspended tank will open and drop in a school of piranhas. Oh my goodness. Oh. After the piranhas have fallen, and the curtain is opened. There will be blood for Atua. If by some miracle, Himiko has been gobbled up. Please give a big round of applause. Just kidding. It's a joke. <laughs> Are you feeling all right? I'm concerned about Himiko. She is not responding properly to Angie's jokes. You see, you see the the beautiful curtains that that uh, Kirumi made with Himiko's amazing show at the, at the background. Like, god damn, mm. Kirumi's talented. Gone to worry. Gone to have bad feeling. Uh, Atua, please protect him. No. Wait, what am I doing? Praying to Atua. That that's Angie's shtick. <gasps> well, I get. You know what? I don't care what you say. Useless. <laughs> Well then, let's begin. The amazing Himiko's magic show. <laughs> In her typical high-pitched voice. Really? High-pitched voice? Himiko made her announcement and started the timer. Then she took a breath and dove into the water tank. Sploosh. Angie closed the curtains of the water tank from view. We stood silently waiting. I clenched my fist nervously, my palms damp with sweat. Why does Angie's skin color keep changing? Sometimes she's way darker, sometimes she's way lighter. What the fuck? Did she have like like the the, the most temporary tan ever? If she's inside for for fucking an hour, the tan goes away? Like what? Alright, what's gonna happen here? Still not out. She went in mere moments ago. Lighting, it's bright in here though. Well, well do you think she's all right? Uh, 
Gonta's starting to worry. Should we do something? She... she still hasn't come out! Are you sure she's okay? Gonta can't take it anymore! Gonta cried out, leaped out of his seat, and... Wait, Gonta? Ran up onto the stage. Uh-oh. Oh, you can't do that! We're still in the middle of the show! B but if Gonta does nothing, piranhas will eat Himiko! Am I going crazy or did the voice acting not match up with the with the text? Huh? Huh? Um, less than 10 seconds remain. I don't care if it ruins the trick. Just come out. The stress is bad for my heart. Right when the timer hit zero, the buzzer went off. Death. And then... Oh no! At the bottom of the suspended tank swung open and the murky water and shadowy shapes inside fell straight into the water tank Himiko was swimming in. Huh? 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 Look! The piranhas! Please, please. We witnessed an unbelievable sight. She's fine. It took a few moments for all of us to even process it. But then again, perhaps we weren't trying to process it. Perhaps he didn't want to acknowledge it. Great, huh? <laughs> Behold the the magnificent underwater escape. body in the gym I mean technically it's a skeleton uh, then when Himiko turned to look back at the water tank mm -hmm. nah. a thin line divides heaven and hell For the second time at the Ultimate Academy, a body discovery announcement sounded out. Those who weren't present at the magic show heard it and came running. <clears throat> what? What's going on? Ah! I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Well, you know. We should break the tank, right? We gotta check out. We gotta check what's what? inside. What? Break it? Yeah. Yeah, break it. It'll take too long to drain it by hand. Huh? But what would, what would we even use to break? Hey! Gonta. Key boy, you're up. Huh? Uh huh? What do you mean we're up? You're so dumb. Gonta, throw Key boy as hard as you can. Use that robot like a battering do ram. Do not mock me! Who are you calling a battering Gaunt. ram? Gonta, throw Kibo. Got it. Got it! Oh, well, this is gonna turn into another bing, 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 bong. 
Then I'll help Please too. Please wait. Now, just wait a second. You don't need to team up now. Crash. Wait, aren't there piranhas in there? Bing, 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 bong. The sound was intense. A wall of piranhas and water dyed red with blood rushed out. Red, sure. We watched helplessly as the area flooded with water. After some deliberation, we decided to cl start cleaning everything up. However, I made sure not to disturb the scene more than necessary. W why would we do this? With Kurumi's expertise, we were able to clean up enough to start investigating. Alright, Kochiki, was it you? Because, like, what the fuck, man? That was dumb. Um... I've gathered Re uh, Ryoma's body and belongings in one place. He looks depressed. He was just used as a battering ram, so I understand why. However, he's been reduced such that he can be carried in one hand. How fleeting and fragile life is. Mm. Gonta put piranhas in bucket. Piranhas all got big tummies. Gonta think they full. Ew. Today, Ryoma is fish food, and tomorrow, he'll be fish shit. Oh my. Circle of life. Don't say such things. Himiko? Himiko, are you okay? Is this... This wasn't an accident, was it? Does this mean the killing game has started again? <laughs> Who are you again? <laughs> how? How could this happen? We sw we swore to each other, didn't we? We swore we'd never let the killing game start up again. Why? So that was all just a lie. You guys are liars. All you liars apologize to Ryoma. He believed the killing game wouldn't happen anymore. Unacceptable. Your disingenuous tears mark you as the liar right now. Did I get caught? Oh, you figured it out? You've got a pretty good eye there, Kyo. Really pretty eyes. Super hot. Bum, 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 bum. Hey! Hey, guys. How's it feel now that you've got a second murder victim on your hands? Oh, oh. Huh? Real is transparent. Has my x-ray vision superpower finally awakened? Rise and shine, Rise and shine, sign. Rise and shine sign. Father! Father, you don't have superpowers. He's just been reduced to a skeleton. Right. Finally, I've been waiting for the killing game to start up again. That means we can put all this boring crap on hold and start playing the blame game. That's Let's play nice. the blame game. You're ready to go, Mono. Who are you again? The hell you saying? Mono Suki. You should at least remember your own kid's name. Hey. Monophony, are you okay? Five, four. Hmm? Hmm? Are you counting, Mon Monophony? Why are you counting? To vomiting. Because three, I'm seriously two, gonna puke one now. <laughs> Contaminated the crime scene. Contaminated the crime scene. Ah, she puked again. You stupid. What the hell are you doing, you failure? Dumbass. Listen up, we're gonna make sure the killing game goes smoothly. Smooth smoothly. Capice? Isn't it capiche? Is it spelt that way? It's capiche, right? Is, it, is that spelt right? I don't think I've ever seen it spelt out. Maybe it is right. So also, to keep me company and new, and new mascots. New mascots present lots of exciting business opportunities. Shut up, you failure. Dang it. What? Me too? Yoo-hoo! Hey, hey, this conversation is fun and all, but we should really get this over with. Cause Atua says so. Don't we need to start investigating or something? All right. All right. I'll get the culprit this time for sure. Hurry up and give us the thingy. Okay. You mean the Monokuma file, right? I also investigated the cause of death this time, so read it to your heart's delight. I mean, I I suspected he was dead before he was put in the tank, but not sure. Pops. Oh, this is sort of unrelated, but I got a great business idea. Oh. Yeah, that's totally unrelated. Got it. Let's use this Monokuma file to start a funeral services business. You know how it gets awkward at funerals when you start asking about the cause of death? And that's if that. we pass out Monokuma files, even the worst deaths will get a giggle out of the attendees. Well, Some weeb wants this done. Well, pups, what do you think? They're so freaking cute! <laughs> huh? Huh? Cute? <sighs> the way you pass out the files is so cute. Why don't you come with me over here? Gee. Oh, the licking is happening again. He pops is gonna lick me all over. Oh, uh, we're gonna show it again. I, I, we don't need to see it again. Hmm? We're good, huh? Father showering Monosuke with all the all his love. Uh. Hmm. You think maybe maybe Monosuke's right? Maybe Father doesn't like us anymore because we're not hostile and threatening enough. Um. I think maybe I'll follow Monosuke. 
so long. long. Farewell. Oh, and even sadder so long. Farewell. 18? So then. 17, 18, 19? In any event, let us begin the investigation. But investigation? So it's really going to start again? Actually. I can't believe it. One of us killed Ryoma. Someone among us. How this happen? No more. Gonta no want to want to investigate friends. No want to suspect friends. Also, Gonta was looking into tank when before curtain opened. Gonta see it was Ryoma before it was Himiko. Gonta maybe want to sell. Then, then don't do it. I'm not going to investigate either. Huh? Huh? Because you'll be fine if you're sh if you're a shorter person, and I doubt a child caregiver would be much help. Maki. Wait, Maki. I tried to stop her, but Maki didn't even turn around and kept walking. What was that? The fuck is that bitch's problem? She's seriously not gonna investigate? Incomprehensible. That seems rather irresponsible. Yes. She likely assumes someone else will take care of it. And I suppose she isn't wrong. But why would she say that now? She participated in Rantaro's investigation. Although, I suppose Maki has been acting strange lately. I'm, I've been told she spends all day in her lab. What is she doing Jeez. in there? Well, I'll have to talk with Maki later. For now, we should start investigating. Always I'm seriously around. pissed we gotta do this, but it's our only chance to survive. Right? Yep, I'll do my very best too. Because... Gonta and I have to work especially hard so we can regain everyone's trust. You right. Oh yes, you right. <laughs> but we don't even need to investigate. It's pretty obvious who the culprit is. Huh? I thought for sure there was gonna be like volunteer from the audience and it was gonna go wrong. What? Right? Ryoma was murdered during a certain little magical girl show, right? Mm -hmm. Nah. <laughs> nah. So I think we need to be a little more suspicious of that little magical girl. Nah. But. But she's so suspicious that it seems not suspicious. Nah. Nah. Right. But then again, she's made herself look not suspicious, so now she's super suspicious. Hey, degenerate Jeez, male. shut up already! How dare you toy with Himiko's pure heart? You got me. You just said Himiko, didn't you? But I never mentioned her name. You gotta be kidding me! Ah, uh, shut up, shut up! Himiko would never do something like that. I... I mean, Angie seems to be the most suspicious, but maybe it was someone who was helping? Like, Ki Kirumi was, uh, was, uh, you know, making the curtains and then sh and she did it? I don't know. I'm not sure. I know her best, right, Himiko? No. Like, Ryoma comes in and, and something, like, something bad happens and they have to pass it off? No. <gasps> This is the part where you agree with me. Anyway. Himiko, can you at least tell us the trick behind the underwater escape act? Because? If we know how the trick works, we can try to figure out how the culprit killed- There's no trick, it's magic! It's impossible. That's not possible. Huh? Not possible? Why not? It's magic. There's no trick to the underwater escape, because it was my magic. <laughs> yeah, how long- How long is that donkey lift midget gonna keep saying that? Um, Himiko, in order for us to find the culprit, it's plain to see we need your help. Cut it out. Yeah, my answer won't change no matter what you say. Because I'm a maid. There's no trick to my magic, because it's magic. Seriously? How Come long on. are you going to keep that bullshit up? Listen, if we don't catch the culprit, we're... Cut it out that's, en that's enough. If Himiko says it's magic, then it's magic. <sighs> Fwah. I'll use my Neo Akito to obliterate any degenerate male who bullies Himiko. What? I'm not bullying her. It's her fault she's being so stubborn. Mm. Well, it's fine if you don't want to tell us. I'll just find out myself. Right? Actually, that sounds pretty fun. It seems as if... To solve this mystery, we must first learn the trick behind Himiko's underwater escape act. We must do it. We, we have no choice in the matter. He's right. We have no choice. We have no choice but to find the culprit who killed Ryoma. This investigation is to save all of our lives because we're risking our lives in the class trial. Shuichi! Hey, Suichi, you gotta check? Huh? Just gotta check. You got a sec? Hmm, what's wrong? I mean... Before we start the investigation, there's something I gotta tell you. Alright! You're my sidekick from now on. Huh? Your sidekick? You know... I'm more of a scientist kind of guy, so I'm not really cut, in, cut out for the investigations, but that's a good quality to have for an investigation. Listen up! Plus, the only stage fit for Kato Mamata, Luminary of the Stars, is the universe itself. <laughs> so I'll leave the details to you. Paid the path for my success. But... Ah, uh, but I don't know what to do as a sidekick. Don't worry about it. 
don't worry about it. I'll make all the tough calls. You just gotta do what I say. He loves to make decisions on his own, doesn't I he? Mean, so, leave it to me. I'll take full responsibility since you're my sidekick. There's nothing to worry huh? about. Where are you, boot? Huh? Got it. All right, let's get started. First, we gotta check the Monokuma uh, file. Okay. Yes, right. Kaido making me a sidekick like this. Could it be? I'm, I'm scared. I try hard not to be, but I'm scared. I can't stop thinking about the pain, the sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. Is he trying to help me? Hey, hey what's the matter? Let's check the Monokuma file already. Okay. All right. At Kaido's behest, I looked over the Monokuma file. The victim is Ryoma Hashi, the ultimate tennis pro. The body was discovered in the gym. His hands are handcuffed instead of his instead of his his foot. There's no shackle on his foot. The fish is blocking it, so we can't tell for sure. So how did that happen? The body was discovered in the gym. The cause of death was drowning. His body was consumed by piranhas until only bones remained. No other injuries can be confirmed at this time. Come on, man. Wait, there's less written here than before. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. The time of death isn't written here. Hmm? Hmm? Remember. The previous Monokuma file indicated Rontaro's time of death, correct? The victim is Rontaro Am Amami. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. The victim's body was discovered in the library. The estimated time of death is 9:10 p.m. The victim was subjected to blunt force trauma to the back of the skull, resulting in cranial fractures and immediate death. No other injuries were detected. But, but the Monokuma file this time doesn't indicate a time of death. What? Did Monokuma mess up? No. No, this was intentional. Monokuma told us he wouldn't give us any information that would reveal the culprit. But, thinking about it that way. It implies that the information would be damning evidence for the culprit. Ah. So that means the key to this case is the time of death. Well done! Ha, there you go. I knew I picked a good sidekick. There's one more thing <clears throat> in the Monokuma file that catches my eye. Ryoma's cause of death. It says drowning, but if that's the case... We might be able to unravel the case from there. Monaco and Fall 2 has been added to the truth build section. Monopath. All right. All right. Yeah. Now we can look at it. All right. Now that we're done with the Monokuma file, we can get started on the investigation. My first command to my new psychic is investigate everything and find clues that will lead us to the culprit. He's pretty commanding, as I expected. How can this be? Gonta could have saved him. No, Gonta should have saved what him. What happened? Gonta, what's wrong? You're... When piranhas attack Ryoma, if Gonta had dived into tank, then Gonta could have could have helped Ryoma. But Gonta got scared, too scared to do anything. Gonta, idiot. sorry, Gonta, really sorry. Come so he, on, he did man. see you, Ryoma. Okay, I managed to apologize so easily. And even if you had jumped in, they would have just they would have eaten you too. That's true. From what I read in the Monokuma file, you couldn't have saved them anyway, Gonta. Huh? Huh? Really? Does it say that in Monokuma file? You know... You haven't even read the Monokuma file yet? Gonta not no. smart. No. Gonta not really understand it. Gonta not smart enough to be helped. Dumbass! What are you talking about? If you got time to apologize, you got time to read the file. Gonta no can read. If you think you can't help, then work till you can. That's what you can you're do. You're right. That's right, Gonta. You're a huge help. There's some information that only you know, after all. <laughs> information only Gonta know? Remember. Remember, during the show, you went up on the stage. That was about 20 seconds before the primers dropped, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah, because Gonta worry about Himiko. Could it be... Did you see inside the tank? Did you see Himiko or Ryoma? No. No, Gonta see no one in tank. Gonta kind of surprised. Ah, uh, you can't do that. We're still in the middle of the show. But if Gonta do nothing, Himiko get eaten by piranhas. Huh? But you know... But when the piranhas were dropped in dropped and the curtains opened Ryoma was in the tank um, right yeah that's right so then what when did Ryoma get in there you didn't see it happen oh, Gonta don't, don't know everyone see Ryoma in tank when Piranhas drop in after that sorry sorry Gonta should have watched tank better okay Dumbass. so Ryoma was in the tank with the Piranhas but then why wouldn't they eat him
were they stuffed in so tight that they couldn't move? That would be kind of dumb. Hmm. Like I said, a man shouldn't apologize so easily. Um. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. You know. But this is a problem. Now I'm even more stumped. Even if Himiko disappearing was part of the underwater escape act. How did Ryoma get into the tank? Was that part of Himiko's trick? I'm positive that mystery will be important. It will be an important point of, the, of this case. <clears throat> Gonta's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Okay, hey. so I know who did it, I just don't know how they did it. I'm glad Himiko made this game more difficult. Now I won't be able to. I, I won't be nearly as bored. All right. Time to work hard to solve this mystery. Get ready, culprit, because here I come. Like I thought. Himiko doesn't tell us how the trick works. We know how Ryoma was. We won't know how Ryoma was killed, right? Who did it? Sushi. But with the way she is, how do we convince her? Oh, uh, what if Ryoma was a former apprentice of Himiko's master? <laughs> and vowed revenge on him. Uh, and he murdered a lookalike of himself in order to sabotage her show. Yeah. Or something like that. It's happened before, probably. Hey! Hey, Flemwad, there's something I need you to tell me. That's not a very polite way to ask some someone for something. You know! It's got nothing to do with the Institute, but I heard Gonta captured you guys last night. <laughs> the hell was that all about? I was running around, so I got no clue what happened. Got it. Oh yeah, tell me, tell me too. I was also running, so I still don't know what ha what, went, what went on. How did Miyu escape from Ganta? She's not strong enough to fight him. Why you? Chop chop, you slimy shit. Uh, um... Well, I suppose you could say that Ganta was tricked into kidnapping us. The first ones to get captured were Kibo, Kyo, Sumugi, Tenko, and I. Himiko and Angie were brought in uh? later from the gym, right? That's probably when he died. Then, so we can so we can cut down on the suspects. Okay. Exactly when Kochiki left the room after 9 p.m. Not necessarily though, so they must have been brought in about five minutes before if that. I remember correctly. We were all forced to participate in Gonta's insect meet and greet. We were freed about an hour into nighttime around 11 p.m. I see. So from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., everyone there had an alibi, and then those people without an alibi are me, Kirumi, Maki, and Ryoma. <laughs> <laughs> I see you've learned what an alibi is thanks to the previous incident. But what the fuck is this insect meet and greet bullshit? <laughs> Why? By the way, Miu, how were you able to get away from Ganta? What? Um, oh, uh, well... Um. I ha had to use my secret woman weapon, and let's just leave it at that. Huh? Secret woman weapon? <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Uh, hey, what's a secret woman weapon? <laughs> <laughs> she trying to laugh it off? Come on, man! Suishi, let's just leave her be. Listening to her will just tire you You're out. You're right. You're probably right. Perhaps it's better to get the truth out of her at the Clash trial. Insect meet and greet has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Angie! Oh, that's right, we need to ask Angie about the Angie. stage. Hey Angie, I wanted to ask you some questions to boot the I... stage. Yep, I was in charge of all the art. I even built and painted the stage. Yeah. Then, do you know anything about Himiko's trick? How it worked, perhaps? No. No, I don't know the trick. Himiko only said it was magic. I see. I suppose she didn't tell Angie the secret either. Uh, um... Uh, by the way, you asked other people to help you with the preparations, uh, right? Yeah. Yep. We started the prep work yesterday. Lots of people helped out. The prana... A prana is not active at certain temperatures of water. Could the water that had the body in it be cold so the pranas didn't eat him? And then when they dropped into the water tank below, it was warmer water that kind of shot them back into activity and then they ate him? Because it seems that the body should be in, in with the piranhas, but why the fuck wouldn't they eat him? If it's that they were all squished in and couldn't move and eat him, that's that's kind of shit, but I don't know. Yeah, we started the prep work yesterday. Lots of people helped out. Like, when we were moving the heavy tank and the stairs from Himiko's research lab. Yeah! Me and Kiba helped with that. The tank had a pulley, but because it was so huge, it was still a lot of work. Right, right. And I asked Kirumi to sew the curtains because I hate sewing. Thanks, so basically, Atua. it's all thanks to Atua that the show was a success. Yeah. No, it's because of all of us. Was it really a success? Uh, um, By the way, with the Pran is your idea? Because. On its own, the Underwater Escape Act is no different from a normal magic show. So divine! I thought it would make the show more exciting and divine if we use piranhas. Atua has spoken. That's what Atua told me. Atua, so Atua gives you that kind of advice too, does he? Um. 
And about the Prana tank and the timer, those are from Himiko's lab, correct? Of course, of course! Yep, yep, according to the Prana tank's manual, it's synced up with the timer. Th she's very happy for someone that just fucking died in front of us. When the Prana goes off, the bottom of the Prana tank will open automatically. Fucking creepy, creepy owie. I see, that means that most of the equipment came from Himiko's lab. And then? And right when we, were f we finished the prep work, we were able to take a break. Gonta captured us so we couldn't rehearse at all. <laughs> when Gonta let us go, it was already nighttime, so we couldn't go back to the gym. You know. Oh yeah, you can't enter the gym at nighttime. Yup, yup. So we decided to come up to the gym today before the morning announcement. Okay, you can't enter the gym at all, or the gym's doors are locked. Where where rules? Off limits. Not locked. Off limits. Okay. How 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 strict is the bear? So if opening a window and throwing something through the window from the, from the from the uh, from the swimming pool, like if if part of your body goes into the gym, is it, is the, is that okay? Is is it flexible? I'm I think that the bear might be a little flexible on that as long as you don't actually go in there. So we decided to come to the gym today before the morning announcement. Thank you. Himiko and I were waiting for the gym to open. Oh, I was so relieved the set was intact. So no one could have snuck into the gym before those two got there. <gasps> What's up, Suichi? Are you worried because of this confusing incident? But, but... Don't worry, it'll be fine. Huh? What? Atua has, Atua has spoken. spoken. You have nothing to worry about. Huh? Nothing to worry about? No, no. Nothing can escape Atua's sight, not even the culprit. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Atua is truly a divine force to be reckoned with. Angie is starting to sound more and more creepy. Yeah, is is this the window up here? Is it behind this curtain? Where's where's the window? I think it is, right? That's the stage. And we came in from this side or from behind us. So this is the window, maybe? Maybe not actually. Where's the window? Is it open on the top? I should investigate the stage, I'm sure there's a clue there. I don't think it is. Maybe that's a bust. When I stood on stage and looked up at the prana tank, it, sorry, looked up the prana tank was directly overhead. It was set up so the bottom would open when the timer reached zero. The bottom is open now and the tank is empty. It doesn't look as though it has a lid. Oh, it doesn't have a lid. I can see the ceiling straight through. Okay. And only the front side is glass. The other sides are made of wood. So the prana tank had no lid and only the front side was made of glass. Hey, so uh, really? A water tank made of wood? Okay. Oh yeah, that tank was from Himoko's ah. research lab. Hey Kato, Kaido, you helped carry supplies for the show, right? Got it. Yeah, me, Kibo, Himoko, and Angie. It was a lot of work, but I just helped carry it. I wonder how they hung it from there. You know... It was a heavy tank full of water and piranhas. It couldn't have been easy to lift. Is... It seems this is where the lighting baton for the, for the gym is attached. Ah. Ah, Karumi, the control panel on the side of the stage allows you to raise and lower the, b the baton, or baton, baton, it's baton, right? It seems they lowered the baton, attached the prana tank to it, and then raised it again. Hmm. Hmm, I never knew lighting bat batons were sturdy enough to lift a tank like that. That is correct. Since it was built to lift heavy objects, it, pro it is probably quite sturdy. Prana tank has been added to the truth blood section in one pad. No, it's fine. It's made of it's made of wood. It's just just a little unusual for the for this kind of thing. I was expecting to be glass on the sides. There's a curtain covering it, but I believe there's a window on the other What's side. What's the matter? What's the matter? You want to check that window out? Okay. Uh, yeah, but ah. oh, it's too high up to reach, huh? Yeah, it's pretty high, even higher than the prana tank. Higher than the prana tank. Yeah. That's right, there was a ladder next to the stage. I'll go get it. Swimming is prohibited in the pool during nighttime. Touching the water is also against school rules. Further than me, okay, so. Touching the water is also against school rules, as in at night, because those are two separate statements. But I'm, I'm going to say that they're together, but sometimes the game is very specific. So he couldn't have been drowned at night. Uh, so he's drowned before that. 
probably in the pool, and then the body was thrown through the window into, into the tank. Why the fuck did the piranhas not eat him? Kaido quickly headed off to the stage. He returned carrying the ladder that was set up beside the stage over his shoulder. Hey, so... But, you know, shouldn't the sidekick be the one bringing the ladder? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Thank you. After setting up the ladder on top of the stage, I climbed up the rungs. You can just barely reach the window with this. And if you open the curtain... Oh, the window is open! If the window's open, does that mean the culprit used it? The culprit may have gone in and out through the window. So what's on the other side of the window? I can't see much, but I think it's the pool. A pool, huh? I heard we had one here somewhere. All right, let's check it out later. The culprit probably went through there. Oh, wait. What is this? Hmm? What's up? Nothing. It just looks like marks on the window frame. The window frame has distinct abrasions, perhaps scratched by something. This might be related to the case. I should remember it. Was he hanging behind the curtain? And they set the timer to the same thing, so when the piranhas dropped out of the out of the, the tank, he also dropped from above the tank with them into it at the same time. And it's just that no one saw him drop from there. That's kind of dumb, but that's an answer. How would how would they set that up to the timer? I guess I guess it's possible. It's same it's set to the same mechanism. Uh, maybe the piranhas ate the evidence. Maybe they ripped apart everything in there, apart from the uh, apart from the the handcuffs. I don't know. How did you do this, Suichi? I climbed down from the ladder to the stage. Hey! You done investigating the window? Then I'll go put the ladder back. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you, Kaido. Jeez. Shouldn't the psychic be doing this? He complained, but he still put the ladder back for me. I've investigated everything I wanted. I, I, I've investigated everything I wanted to be to on the stage. Didn't read that one very well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We all done here? Then let's okay. go. Yeah, okay. Hey! You were helping set up the show, right, Kurumi? Did you hear anything about the trick? I do not agree. No, I did not hear a word. Furthermore, my help consisted of sewing the banner and curtains, so I do not know the, the details of her well. trick. I see. Damn, she doesn't know. All right. First commit my first command to my new sidekick Listen is up. investigate everywhere and find clues. Don't overlook anything. You got it. There's a ladder here. I wonder if it was used to set up the show. Open window. Light panel. Huh? What is this? That is. It is the control panel for the stage lights. It allows you to raise and lower the uh, raise and lower the baton. Hmm. Ah, I see. Oh, okay, that seems important. Raise and lowered. How would they do that while well, getting in at night? Doesn't necessarily have to be a night, but that's my current theory. Near the water tank. It's a large water tank from the escape trick. The glass is broken. It's in bad shape. Come on, man. Did you guys really need to break the glass? Everything's soaked now. But well, if we had left Ryoma's body there, we wouldn't have been able to investigate. That's right. I guess it would have taken way too long to just empty the whole tank with a bucket. Okay. It was a lot of cleanup, but at least we can investigate the tank now. There might be a clue around here. I should take a closer Got look. It. Yeah, you're right. Because we broke the glass. There isn't much of anything left in this tank. <sighs> Excuse me. But I should investigate the area thoroughly. There's bound to be something. What's this? Glass panel. All right, bucket. It's a bucket full of piranhas. Gonta said that he picked up all the piranhas and put them in here. I can't believe Gonta would do that with his bare hands. Ah, wait, yes I can. <sighs> when I think of Ryoma is... When I think that Ryoma is inside their stomachs, I don't even feel like eating them. <laughs> Why would you even consider eating them in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> Only the strong can survive in this world that Atua has created. Amen. 
The least we can do is pray for Ryoma's soul so that he may enter out to his Come kingdom. On, man. Can you really go there looking like this? But, but... Those pranas sure were a miraculous mystery. Maybe Atto was behind those videos too. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh... I noticed it right as the show started. What a surprise! I feel like there were more pranas today than yesterday when we were preparing. N no. Videos? More piranhas? Huh? What did they what did they multiply overnight? There's no way they could reproduce that fast. But, but... but compared to yesterday, the piranhas look super crammed into that tank. Ah, uh, so they looked more crammed together. Dear, dear. The water was too murky, so I couldn't tell how many more piranhas were there were. Oh my! But anyway, it was super, 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 super crammed. What a surprise! Super, 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 super crammed. Ugh. Jeez, we get it. More piranhas than yesterday. There might be something to that. What? Did someone did someone go to the fucking piranha store and find some piranhas? What do you mean? The fragments of the broken glass water tank have been piled up. There's so many tiny pieces. Gonta and Tenko certainly didn't hold back when they threw Kibo at the glass. Mm -hmm. There's a square pane, a square pane of glass at the bottom of the water tank. It doesn't look like a broken piece. The other fragments are far more random than this. It's nearly impossible for the broken water tank to, to produce such a perfect square glass. Then, what exactly is this pane? I don't know, can you lift it up? Some, some, something not, something not hide. Like, isn't it, is this a panel she got through, or is this where Ryoma's body was stashed, or something? Like, like a, a fake part where the body was was put. I don't know. I wish Himiko wasn't being dumb. Handcuffs. What? Why are there handcuffs here? Still locked. There are some small scratches on them. The cuffs appear to be stainless steel, so not too hard to scratch. Are they the same cuffs that were on his on his leg, on his foot? Because um, uh, Kochiki had that thing about lock picking. They must have been scraping against something hard or sharp. Huh? What? Are those handcuffs? Were they in the tank? But I've never seen handcuffs in the warehouse. Where'd they come from? That's true. There weren't any in the warehouse, so where'd they come from? If they weren't in the warehouse, another place that, that might have handcuffs is... Hmm. Could it be he's a prisoner? Ryoma's, Ryoma's lab wasn't just for the ultimate tennis pro, but also for the ultimate prisoner. So perhaps some element of that was in his lab as well. <clears throat> Scratch handcuffs. Yeah, where was the shackle that was on his foot? Ryoma's body is nothing more than a skeleton now. Not even a shadow of what he was. <laughs> what the heck is this? Hey, is this really Ryoma? I didn't see the moment it happened, so I can't believe uh, it. Okay. I'm certain of it. Remember. Everyone watching the show witnessed it. We saw Ryoma become nothing but bones. <laughs> Ryuji, no! Damn! I can't believe he died in such a gruesome way. Well. The water filled with blood so fast we didn't see the whole thing. Uh, you're amazed that the clothes are fine? Yeah, I think that's just they didn't know how to draw a pile of ripped clothes because the clothes did get ripped. So it's just there. The skeleton is unmistakably Ryoma's. Jeez. Jeez. I know he wanted to die, but he didn't have to, have to actually go and do it. How do you get the crack in his head on his skull? No. No, I don't think that's right, Kaido. Ryoma wasn't trying to die. He said as much. He was jealous of us who wanted to live. Huh? Huh? What do you mean he was he was, he was jealous? Mm. I'm positive that Ryoma wanted to join us. That's why he needed a reason to live. So that he could have the same feeling we, we do. So that he could have this, that reason to keep going. To fight alongside us. <laughs> then he was a real idiot. Who cares if you don't have a reason to live? Can't your reason for living be something simple like good food or your friends? Damn, Damn it, that idiot. <laughs> Ryoma's belongings are gathered together, his clothes, his monopad, the key to his room. Ah. That's it, if we use this key, we can investigate Ryoma's room. Mm. Huh? What's in this room to investigate? Remember the motive video. We should find out whose video Ryoma had. Oh. Then you think Ryoma was killed because of that video? No. 
I can't say for certain, but we should check just in case. Although, he might have had my video. If that were the case, I might be a suspect. Oh, he might, he might not. You know, just saying it kind of vague. Well, no point thinking about that now. Don't want to remember everything that I did. All right, that's all I wanted to see around the, the water tank. All right, come, come clean. How did it work? Nah, my magic was supposed to make everyone smile. So don't worry, everyone is smiling. Uh, I don't think any of us can smile right um. now. Himiko, if it's all right, are you ready to talk about your underwater escape trick? We need to understand how your trick works if we're going to solve this mystery. What are you saying? There is no trick to my underwater escape act. It was magic. Come on, man. You're still saying that? Do you understand the situation we're in? Stop it. And no matter how much you guys threaten me, my answer won't change. It was magic. Huh? But, but I'll protect you. Okay, your time's up. The Q&A session is now over. Damn, cool. we got some coins. Yeah. Unless you want to feel the full vol volcanic wrath of my Neo Aikido. Jeez. Man, this guard is more strict than security at idol events. All right. My first command to my new psychic is <clears throat> investigate everywhere and find clues. Don't overlook anything. You got it. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, if anyone goes, this is magic, then it's magic. Got it? I'll use my. Okay, that's it. But if you don't understand the magic trick, have any impossible to survive the trial. Okay, how's it going, robot? Um. Although there are many unknown variables, the first thing we need to make clear is when was Ryoma murdered? Mm -hmm. Well, in the middle of the show, obviously. The culprit knew how Himiko's trick worked and took advantage of it to kill Ryoma. Huh. In other words, everyone, start, everyone watching the show isn't suspicious. But Kaido, you didn't attend the show either, did you? Well, no, but I'm still not suspicious. I forgot a promise, so I was just eating breakfast. Forgot a promise? Of course! You got it? I'm not suspicious. Oh, dear. I do not understand how that explanation is supposed to convince me. Kiba does have a point. Damn. However, I never... I never would have imagined such a cruel murder happening at such a fun show. Kihihi, <laughs> why did the culprit commit such a barbaric act? Did they wish to see us panic? No. <laughs> I don't think that was the sole motivation. There was some other reason for it. And that reason must be related to Himiko's magic show somehow. I see. So that means the culprit knew of Himiko's trick and made use of it, yes? If that's true, did Himiko tell someone? Someone who thinks the trick is actual magic. Well then. Since the show was used, we must investigate the trick as well. Kyo murmured almost to himself, then walked to the back of the stage. Mm -hmm. Is there anything to investigate backstage? Um, Let's follow him. We should investigate the, the entire area anyway. We followed Kyo backstage. Did yourself, Sushi. This was <laughs> someone in chat just said, "Looks like Mio Mio is here because of the puddle." <laughs> That's a pretty long rope. What was this used for? <laughs> I, has, I estimate it is roughly 65 feet in length. Oh damn! The swimming pool le uh, huh? measurements. You can tell just by looking at but it. Of course. I am well versed in ropes. I once visited a village where their use was commonplace. Plus, remember, even though you loaded over the safe, I still remember what we did in the love house. Do you know firsthand how I use my rope? Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> when it was time for me to leave, the women of the village all begged me to stay. I find that deeply disturbing, but I have to focus on this investigation. Anyway, what is this rope? Could it be related to the case? No, not a truth bullet. What? There's a puddle beneath the staircase. This isn't a puddle from when we broke the tank. The floor around it is completely dry. Perhaps someone who was wet was here doing something. That's true. 
changing wet clothes? But... But how would you get from the water tank to this space behind the staircase? Could it be... This may be a vital clue for understanding the underwater escape trick. What staircase has been added to the toothbrush section of your monopad? Listen. Since the show was used for the murder, we must investigate Himiko's trick as well. Perhaps there are clues here. The staircase goes up to the top of the stage. Inspecting it closely, I can see that some places on the, sli on the side are wet. That might have something to do with the puddle next to it. it could also be the splashes on the piranhas at the tank. Not this, but the, the water on the, on the steps might be. Hmm? Is there something here? Yeah. No, let's decide that after we search it. Investigate anything that stands out. <laughs> There's nothing strange about it from behind, other than the large size, it's a normal tank. I see. All sides of the tank seem to be made of a special type of glass. I see no hidden doors. Kihihi, <laughs> very mysterious. How, I wonder, did Himiko escape from the tank? That's right. Well, if we figured it out easily, it wouldn't be a magic trick. However... I believe that if we figure out the route Himiko took, we will discover how Ryoma got in there. That is true. There's a high probability that they used the same route. To reveal how Ryoma got into the tank, I need to reveal how Himiko managed to get out of it. Is there a false wall back here? I've investigated just about everything to do with the stage, but I still don't know how the trick was hey, performed. So hey, how long are you gonna investigate here? We still got to find the culprit, you know? Come on, let's go. Kaito! Wait, Kaito! Uh, that looks like it's about the same size from the front, but it's hard to tell. I believe we investigate everything we need to for now. Ugh. Well, our investigation's over now, so who's the culprit? No. I can't say for certain yet. There are other places I need to investigate. Come on, man. What? You still don't know? I never thought detective work would be such work. So where else do we gotta investigate? That's... First, the pool next to the gym. They're connected by the window above the stage that needs to be looked That's at. That's true. After that, I want to go to Ryuma's room and find out which motive video he had. Then I want to investigate the Ultimate Tennis Pro's lab. I've, dedu I've deduced that the handcuffs we found in the water tank probably came from there. Mm. Is that everything? Ah. Last of all, to the Ultimate Magician's lab, I want to know more about Himoko's trick. If we go there, I'm sure there'll be some kind of clue. Mm. So we've still got a lot to do then, huh? Good luck, Suishi. After all, it's it's going to be you doing all the heavy lifting here. You're right. Ah, uh, right. Don't screw around! What do you mean, right? Are you saying I'm useless? Is there a right way to respond to that? What's in here? Still nothing. What's in here? Okay, uh, let's just fast travel to the swimming pool. Actually, can I can I go to the uh, can I go to the to to, to the the dormitory first? I'm really curious what the what it is. What um, file they had? And Hunter is using 100 bits to say, Dear Atua, please accept this lolly sacrifice we give unto you. Also, since I don't think you read my earlier cheer, watching the mage lolly love scene at 1.5 speed was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I didn't see that message, sorry. Did, when, when did that message come in? I didn't see it. <laughs> it's magic. Her voice is pretty good. Like, I, I enjoy doing it, but holy shit, what a trash character. Uh, Chibi Wolf has subscribed with Prime. Thank you very much, Chibi Wolf. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to Prime Time, Chibi Wolf. Welcome to the Dragon's Den. Ralph Cloggs said, has used a bit say, I'm happy with this case so far. It seems to have no bullshit. Uh, early days still, but we'll see. I'm, I'm trying to get into it, but 
yeah, uh, it's I have to try really really hard. Uh, Zoina tosses you 42 bits to say number 15 Burger King Kibo lettuce. The last thing you'd want in your Burger King burger is Kibo's foot fungus, as it turns out. But as it turns out, that might be what you get. A Twitch channel uploaded a photo anonymously to the site showcasing Kibo's feet in a plastic bin of lettuce with the statement, this is the truth you eat at Burger King. Admittedly, he was made of metal. Action Cater used to say, uh, Kyo, even though you, you loaded over the save, I remember where I loaded that night. Ooh, shit. And Thorn Shadow 17 says, how does it feel to be playing as Leon? Uh, the voice actor, it doesn't really mean that much to me that, that we're playing as Leon. Sorry, I had to click on the screen in order to, um, to, to control the game again. So we left. So this is Ryoma's room, huh? So where's his video? I don't see it sitting out anywhere. Maybe put it on his bookcase. Kaido opened all the drawers one by one, checking each of them. Hmm? Hmm, that's weird. I can't find it anywhere. You're right. I see, so we can't find it. That's alright. That's a clue in itself. Huh? In itself, huh? What do you hey. mean? You see, if we suppose the motive for the crime was the video, there's a high possibility that Ryoma had the culprit's motive Remember. video. If their motive video was left at the scene, it, they would be immediately suspicious. There's no reason the culprit would leave behind that kind of incriminating evidence. Ah. That's true. Okay. And the video is not in the room, which means... Got it. So it's just like we thought the video that video was the okay. motive. Yes, that's the best explanation I can think that's of. My side or maybe Monodam just fucked up and didn't put them back because we don't have ours either. Alright, that's just what I expect from my top sidekick. Shuichi! What's the matter, Suichi? No. Ah, uh, nothing. So by the way, I was thinking. I mean Maybe we should have maybe we all should have watched those motive videos after all. Huh? What? Nah. They showed the most important people to us, right? That's right. So maybe we should have watched them without looking away from the truth. I mean, at the time I agreed with Kibo, but after thinking about it, I changed that's my mind. Right. And if we were worried about watching them alone, we could have just watch them together. Uh, um, watch them it. together. Yeah, we should have gathered together and watched all the videos, share everybody's motives. Even if it's something you can't bear by yourself, it'd be possible yeah. with everyone. That's what cooperation is, right? Uh, That's what Kochiki was trying to do. Uh, huh? Hey! Kochiki was trying to get us to participate in a motive video viewing par party of sorts. That's why he forced us into the same room. Hmm. Do you think that was his way of cooperating? Do you think the same nah. way? No, no, that's just what he wanted. If that's what he wanted, he could have just asked us. Jeez. That's what a normal person would have done, but the thing is, he's not normal. That's right. He's abnormal. Maybe he did want us to cooperate, but there's no way of, to know for sure. He'd never tell us. That's true. It's impossible to know what Kochiki is thinking. But I suppose he could have been acting in our favor for once. I thought I saw something on, on here during the intro, but I guess not. I should investigate here just as well, just in case. When I opened the closet, I discovered several identical sets of clothes, just like Rio, hmm. Rio, Rio my war, just like my room. Ah. Except for the murder weapons. Hit, yeah, my closet's like this too. It's packed with nothing but my hmm. uniforms. Really? Must be the same for That's everyone. Right. There's no cubs pad here, so the culprit must have taken it. How did how did culprit get in? Did he did he take the keys and then put them back on the uh, and then put them back on the body? Hmm. It's a normal bed. It looks like the one in my room. Okay, are we uh, done? Yeah, where are you done? Okay. Alright, 
that's good enough. Can we go into the storage room door? What the fuck is that? An inner tube and bits of fabric. Hmm. Mm -hmm. This doesn't look like a normal school pool. More like a, a, a pool at a resort. Oh, Ryoma went for a swim. And he was so short that he couldn't get back out of the pool. Because look how low the water is. And he got tired and drowned. And then someone just decided to put throw him in the prana tank just for the lulls. Easy case, easy life. The pool is deep and it isn't filled all the, up all the way. Still plenty of water to swim in. The water level hasn't changed, but I can see something floating in it. There's an inner tube floating in the pool. It looks like a big, sturdy rubber one. I see. Let me guess, some idiots didn't clean up after themselves. Rise and shine, sign. Rise and shine, or sign. <laughs> don't look at us. I don't like water. I prefer juice. <laughs> We get heavier when our cotton absorbs water. It makes losing weight a nightmare. I, I want to play in the water with everyone. It sounds fun. Ah. You know, Monodam might be onto something. I kind of want to go in the pool now. Do it. Yeah, who cares about losing weight? You stupid idiots. We're not here to play. We're here to smack these bastards into the pits of hell. We're the Monocubs, the meanest, nastiest, cruelest mascots Dumbass. around. If you don't get it, I'll throw you all into the pool myself. <laughs> Ah, uh, please don't. Can't we all get along? Monosuke, please stop. Can we, can't we all just get along? What? Damn, Monosuke's gonna be the next one dead. You, you, you saying that if we don't get along, I'll end up like Monokid? So long. So long. Farewell. We get twenty. Hmm. So then it was one of us that put the inner tube there, not the Monokubs. Well, it doesn't matter. The inner tube probably isn't related to the case. Isn't it related to the case? If it were just, if it were just for playing around, then why is there a rope tied to it? What could that be for? That is intriguing. Where does the rope lead? Ah, uh, there's something else floating in the pool. It looks like a little piece of fabric. Jeez. It's just trash, right? Nothing to be worried about. You know. We're looking for the culprit. We don't have time to pick up trash. Ah, okay. uh, yes, but. Perhaps it's just my intuition, but it does bother me. I should learn to, tr to trust it sometimes. My intuition is the ultimate detective. Black piece of fabric was added to the triple section in the pad. Some cool, some cool rules that posted here. There's one that I found peculiar. There's also some specifications written here. The pool is 82 feet in length and 39 feet wide. The pool side is 13 feet on each end, and the left and right sides are 8 feet each. There's something bothering me about the pool rules, they say. Well, well. Oh, no jumping into the pool, especially at night time. Whoa. Whoa, where'd you come from? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, jumping itself is fine. If you want to jump in front of a car or a train, that's on you. No, no, no. But the pool is off limits at nighttime, see? No swimming at nighttime. That's... That would be a violation, right? Hey, um... If anyone violates a school regulation, a campus-wide siren will blare. <laughs> and then that person will be ripped apart by the exocells. What? You'd go that far? Yeah. Well, so far the siren hasn't gone off, so no one's needed to be ripped apart. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> um... Since that's the case, can we assume no one was in the gym or pool at night time? Oh, yeah! Well, at the very least, no one alive. Wait, what? Pool. Alright, does he mean in the actual pool itself, but the pool... The water. Like, the, but the outside the pool's fine, just can't be in the water. Okay. I think. No swimming at night time. That just might play into this case. Cool rules has been added to the truth bullet section. Mm. So this is the pool. It's not much like a school pool. But that window we investigated above the stage in the gym next to you, right? right? The culprit probably got in and out from there. All right, investigate every nook and cranny. You're not gonna do it yourself. It's a large diving board. It looks like something you find at a resort. Nothing about it has changed. 
So it looks like the rope was used to hoist him in somehow. This is the pool's equipment shed. I'll take a look inside just in case. Huh? Is that... An electric air pump? I see. You could easily fill a large inner tube with this. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything else worth inspecting. It's a large diving board. It looks like something you'd find at a resort. Nothing about it has changed. Uh, yeah, we'll take a break. Hold on, let me let me look at the window and then we'll take a break. You can see the Gaim's window over there. Ah. That's the window we investigated from the top of the stage in the Gaim. I mean, it's pretty high up. You wouldn't be able to reach it with just uh, a ladder. Okay. I agree, the ladder only barely reached the window and it was on the stage. Hmm. If that's the case, then it might have been hard for someone to have gone through, hit through okay. there. Yeah, you might be right. Hey, so... Hey, Suichi, does this pool really have anything to do with the case? We got... We got all psyched up about it, but it doesn't seem like there were any clues here. But... Well, that inner tube is still bothering me. I don't know what it tells us, but I feel like it's related to the case. You know. But you know, if that inner tube is related to the case, the culprit is pretty careless. If it was related to the case, why didn't they clean it up? So... Just leaving it sitting out like that? Don't you think that's straight up careless? No. no, even if they wanted to put it away, they couldn't. There's no pole or anything around here that that you could use to get the inner tube. It has a rope on it. Remember, the water level is so low you, that you couldn't grab the tube even if you did manage to bring it closer. But you know, what? Then why not just jump in and fish it out by hand? Oh. oh, that's right. They couldn't get in the water. Couldn't get in the water. Yes, I suppose you could think of it that way. <laughs> Damn. You he's, know. He's couldn't. Do it. Yeah. I guess you could remember it that way, as I think back to how I stood over the pool and was like, God damn it, I can't go and get this evidence. I guess I'm just going to have to adapt and hope that I can mislead everyone during the trial. Well, we can't stay here forever, right? Let's go check out the other places. Wh why couldn't they have gotten right. in the morning? There's no more time no more, no time to waste. Isn't that right, Psychic? You're right. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's take a five-minute break. And then we'll finish the investigation, we'll look at any fan art that came in during the stream, and then we'll stop and we'll do the trial tomorrow. Uh, there's no way I can push forward and do the trial today, sorry.
Okay, let's continue. Someone manipulated the crime scene just for the lols. Now that's never happened during the second chapter of one of these games. <laughs> uh, I know it might not sound like much, but uh, watching your streams has been keeping me really happy lately. I don't have much else to do when it comes to occupying myself at home, so being around uh, in your streams, watching YouTube videos, and being on your Discord server has allowed me to steer away from my what seems to be never ending depression. Much love to you. Keep up the great work. Oh, thank you, Echo the Cat. Thank you. I'm glad that the, the streams can keep you occupied like that. Thank you for telling me. Thank you so much. Whoa, what? It's cool. You can you can see through it. Okay, I think we're I think we're you're done here, right? Okay, let's go see the labs. Yeah. Okay. If we were in the middle of the ocean, wouldn't we smell it? And this looks like just a What's small, a smaller version of, of the of the place that we're in, right? The cage. Okay. We're gonna go into that room that we weren't allowed to go into before because of reasons. The ultimate tennis pros lab. If I'm right, then the handcuffs that were that were found in the tank came from here. And if the handcuffs came from here, that means the culprit was here as well. They may have left a trace of evidence. Hmm. This room is a little different from when we were here before. It feels What's off. What's the matter? What's the matter, Suichi? No. Ah, uh, nothing. Anyway, let's figure out the handcuffs. We should take care of that problem first. There's, there's evidence here that's going to incriminate us. We need to take care of that before we take Kaido in there. Oh, shit, what is it? What is it? Oh, I wish we could have come in here last time we were here. This is the first time I've been in here. Yeah, it's a shower room, but it feels less like the Ultimate Tennis Pros. Hmm. And more like the ultimate prisoner's lab. Hey, so... Do you think it was made that way on purpose? Did they remodel the shower just for that? Okay. Yeah, I think they did. <sighs> Jeez, Monokuma's got bad taste. Well, we already knew that. Okay, so we can look at the sink, the handcuffs, the window, and that is it. Really? Because it looks like there's blood on that, and we can't look at it? Hmm. There they are, the handcuffs. Um, Where are the keys for them? Look, Ka Kaido, handcuffs hanging on the wall. Oh, they look like the ones in the tank. Or wait, are they the because. same? I think so. Here, look. Remember. See, one empty hook. The handcuffs we found must have been hung here. That means the culprit was definitely here. Scratch handcuffs have been updated. Triple Sun Human Pad. Are the keys on them, but they're just not shown or something? This is a pretty big stone sink. You could fill up it up with a lot of water. Hmm. What's this? Hmm. Scratches on the stone, like something was scraped against it. So you're right. What made them? Hmm. These scratch marks are clearly not natural. They must be made by some kind of metal. I really wish I had come in here last time to know if these are relevant or if they were here before the murder happened. But I was a dumbass and decided not to come into the fucking room. That is interesting. Scratch sink has been added to the shoe session. You might have had. 
Maybe he was just like, you know, maybe he just fell in. This window has no vines or barbed wires, wire, barbed wire or bars blocking it. Could it be? But there was that one window I could see from the pool area. What? But this might be it. I'm gonna open it and check. Just as I suspected. Okay, acceptable. Something about it doesn't feel right to me, but acceptable. Yep, yeah, this is definitely it. The window you can see from the pool is the window to Ryoma's lab. Third floor is high up, but if they aimed well, they could reach the pool. But Monokuma said you can't go in the pool at nighttime, right? If anyone violates the school regulation, a campus-wide siren will blare. And then that person will be ripped apart by the exocells. You'd go that far? Well, so far the siren hasn't gone off, so no one needs to be ripped apart. Yet. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, my, my, my last my, my last theory that when Tsuyushi inspected the pool for the first time that he, he secretly installed an elaborate rope system is looking pretty good because that hasn't happened yet. Can we assume that no one's a general? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. Pretty good. But you know, number one, why do you say no one alive? Is that all right? I believe he was hinting that a dead person wouldn't be considered to be breaking the rules, which means it is possible that a dead body was in the gym or the pool at nighttime. You know, there's so there's a chance Ryoma was carried to the gym after he was killed, but you know, there's no point carrying his body there if you can't even get in. Hmm. And I don't know if it's safe to say there was no point. Wait a sec, what's this? Huh? huh? Hey, so... Look, there's weird scratches on the window frame. You're right. Yeah, it's just something scraped against it. These marks are similar to the ones that were on the gym's window frame. I'm positive these marks aren't the result of opening and closing the window normally. The window frame is sturdy as well. The gym's window frame was the same way. Okay, I don't think rope could do that, right? Looks like it would hold even with a lot of weight on it. Shuichi! That looks like something metal is scraping. I don't think rope could do that, but I don't know enough about rope. I don't think so. Now you understand, right, Tsuichi? Huh? What? Got it. How amazing I am to have noticed such a super ultra important clue. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. <laughs> it's all in a day's work for Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. I mean, I found a pretty important clue too, but I won't say that. I'm gonna keep my clue to myself, just in case I need to use it to get out of jail. We came here to confirm my suspicion about the handcuffs from the tank, but we found even more important clues than I expected, together with the fact that this is Ryoma's own lab. There are too many points of concern to become a coincidence. It must be important evidence. Hey! It seems like you figured something new. You seem more confident. All right. All right. Then on to the next place. There's no point staying here. Okay. Right. What is this in here? Let's go investigate the magic. Oh, can't fast travel out of here. Hey, so where should we go? Whoa! Oof. As he came out of the shower room, Kaido tripped and fell to the ground. Hold up. The hell? Something's caught on my leg. That's Ah, it looks like a cable. Ah. Alright, so that would leave a scrape. Is this for the tennis net? Man, whoever left this here should have put it in the corner. Wait, the tennis net? Hmm. I see, so that's why this room felt odd. I should investigate this in, deta in detail. Hmm. The reason I thought this room felt off is because of the net. When I came here last time, the tennis net was set up. Okay. 
but now the cable has been removed. How long is this cable? Huh? So like, someone took the cable off? Why would they do that? That cable looks way longer than the net. Does it loop around like in, in the bottom of the net too? Hey! Kato, can you help me? I want to measure how long this cable is. Thank huh? you. No need. It's just about 50 feet long. What is it? Everyone here has just magical measuring properties? Huh? Keep your pants on, Suichi. What? Ah. Oh, I was in the tennis club till middle school, so I know how long the cable uh, is. Um, you were in the tennis club? That's right. That's why it pissed me off so much that Ryuma was acting like hey. that. Did you know Ryuma from before? Ah. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. You know. I mean, these days, there's no one who's played tennis that hasn't heard of him. He's been a tennis legend since middle school. He was like a hero to every tennis kid. Jeez. And then once I finally got to meet him, he became a coward. That pissed me off so much, I ended up being too hard on Damn. him. But regretting that now won't help. There's nothing I can do. So... So what's suspicious about the length of the cable? Did something about it bother you? No. No, nothing specific. I was just checking. Hmm. He was just checking. Hmm, so detectives get bothered by small details, huh? <laughs> like an overbearing mother-in-law nitpicking a young wife. Uh, um... What is that analogy? Tennis net cable. Alright, I've searched the whole area now. I should move on to the next one. There's still other places left to search. Like th this, this, this is 50 feet. Well, there's no way that this tennis net is as long as the swimming pool is wide, right? And I mean the swimming pool room. Like there's no way this cable is gonna reach from from the window in there to the other side, right? Unless it goes into the pole around the bottom of it as well then up and then through the top like that like I don't I don't believe one of these maybe two Like, you think that... Who, who's, who's, who's five feet? Like, the tennis net is, is ten Kochikis laying down head to toe. That might be, but I don't think the window from, from this lab to the, to the, to the, to the gym is, is ten Kochikis laying down. Like, it's way bigger than that, right? So even, even assuming that the, the net is 50 feet, I don't think it would reach. We have the measurements of the pool, so we can find that out, but that's just the pool. So what's the, uh, what's, what's the room? Eh, maybe, maybe it's just, it's, it's not, um, to scale. I mean, th that's it. There's nothing else it could be. So, like, that is the answer. Wh whether it makes sense or not, that, that's what it's gonna be, so. So rip if it doesn't make full sense, but yeah. Mm. Hmm, so this is Himiko's research lab. What were we gonna investigate again? Hmm. The trick that Himiko used in her magic show. I need to figure out how it worked. You know... Well, you say that but what if it was real magic? Magic with no tricks or mechanisms. That's... Well, that would be a problem, but it's not just about the trick. I need to ask that guy some, some questions. How much do you know? Shuichi. Hey, Suichi, did you want to ask me something? Okay. I'll tell you anything you want to know. You are my favorite after all. When he says that, it sounds like he means the opposite. It makes me nervous. Hey. I do, actually. It's about when we were kidnapped by Gonta yesterday. You snuck into our rooms to steal our motive videos, right? 
but is that all you were doing? You came back pretty late. I see. I see. You want to know my alibi for nighttime yesterday? That's a good question to ask. The gym is off limits during nighttime, so Ryoma was probably killed before and after. Or after, which makes nighttime yesterday so suspicious, since everyone was doing their own thing. Hey! What were you doing then? Um... It'd be easier if I just explained step by step what happened while I was out last night. After you regained consciousness, Suichi, Gonta brought Himako and Angie. That was about 5 minutes before 9 p.m. After that, I left Gonta's lab and headed toward the dorms. I thought I'd be back in an hour at the start of my time, but something happened. Huh? Kochiki's cheeky adventure. Something happened? Hmm. Right when I got to the entrance hall, Kirumi spotted me. That was right after I left Gonta's lab, so it was right around 9 p.m. She started throwing questions at me right, and left and right, asking if I was up to no good. Then she started criticizing my behavior and lecturing me on my manners and relationships. That doesn't sound like Kirumi. Hmm. Can you believe that? I mean, who does she think she is? My mom or something? If I remember correctly. Didn't you ask Kirumi to be, be your mom earlier? That's oh, okay. Now that does sound like Kirumi. If he, did, if he did ask her that. She just kept talking. Then finally let me go at 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled around. Huh? A whole hour? <laughs> well, only the first half hour was a lecture. Then we played tag for the other half. She was starting to bore me, so I turned around to leave, and then... Please wait. Stop right there. Our conversation is not over yet. Uh... I don't want to listen to you. You're not worthy of lecturing the ultimate supreme leader. <laughs> Come on, Miss Maid. Catch me if you can. That is... Is that a request? So that means... And then I guess Kurumi decided to take tech super seriously. I tried my best. But in the end, she caught me a little bit, a little before 10 p.m. Then she started lecturing me again and let me go when nighttime started. So, so do your alibis still hold up even when she was chasing you around? Maybe. We ran into each other a bunch of times, so yeah, they should hold up. Then from 9 p.m. until nighttime, both Kochiki and Kurumi have alibis. <laughs> Let's go talk to Kurumi about it. After Kurumi let me go, I finally went to the dorms and collected everyone's videos. But by the time I returned to Gonta's lab, it was already 11 p.m. Then from 10 to 11, he doesn't have an alibi. Ah. Oh yeah, I did see- well, he had the videos. Like, that must have taken some time. Oh yeah, I did see something odd while Kurumi was lecturing huh? me. Something odd? Hmm. I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. It was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. I wonder who it was? A girl in her underwear. What the hell is he talking about? Miu. By the way. Her woman's weapon. By the way, you didn't get captured by Gonti yesterday, did you, Kaido? Where were you? And what were you doing? Okay. I was running around the whole time. I hid in the bathrooms, bedrooms, all over the school. Mm. Hmm. I see. Damn. I would I would be really suspicious of you of you Kaido if I didn't if I didn't know that after Sui she is found guilty and executed that you're gonna be the new protagonist. But damn, super suspicious. Hmm. What are you doing here, Sumudi? Uh, well, I'm investigating. I know I'm playing, but it's plain to see I'm investigating. Uh, okay. uh, is that so? Hey, so? So, did you find any clues? I'm still thinking about hmm. that. I don't think you can uncover clues just by thinking about no. them. Um, no, in fact, I still haven't found anything. Yeah. Then get to it. Looking around is how you find clues. But I think leaving that guy alone is just plain bad. Sumiki gave Kochiki a meaningful hey. glance, so I decided to, to plainly keep an eye on him. That way, even plain old me can help out. Damn. Nice. Okay, what the fuck are we looking at in here? Where did the piranhas come from? I just, I, I feel, I feel like we shouldn't just be accepting the piranhas. Large water tank. It's a huge water tank. It looks like the one that was used in Himiko's show. So... It looks like the same tank Himiko used in the show, but I guess this one was a backup. It's what Himiko told me and Kibo when we carried the tank out of here. Then perhaps if we investigate this tank, we can learn the secret of the trick. Encouraged, I began walking around the tank. I was looking for anything that could be a switch or mechanism. Hmm. Hmm, what's this? There's a segment of the tank near the top that opens up, but why open up there? Ah, uh, wait, perhaps it isn't random. This, this segment had to open up here. Water tr tank trick. At the top? Not the bottom, at the top? Hmm. What a huge saw. It's probably used for the saw person half trick. Several swords stabbed into the human sized box. Nothing to do with the case. This is a big cage. I might fit inside this. This has nothing to do with the case. Alright, well, where, where are you done then, right? Once we talk to Kaido. 
But you know, even if it's to solve this case, uh, revealing Hima Himiko's tricks is, well, it makes things kind of boring. Huh? Huh? Kaido, are you the type who wants to believe in magic? Oh. Ooh, Kaido believes in Himiko's magic. Idiot. That's not what I mean. I was just thinking that her tricks are like magic that brings smiles to people. I see. Uh, yeah, I guess you could think about it that way. Yeah. Besides, it's just like my dream to go to space. I believe I can travel across the Milky Way. I believe I'll meet aliens. Flying around space with thoughts like that is the true spirit of adventure. Uh, uh so it's like that. <laughs> Kaido, that's... You're so the stupidest dumb. thing I've ever heard. Your idealistic dreams won't help the situation. What? Hey, who are you calling stupid? Uh, um, uh, no need to yell. Magic. All right, what's what's left just to to get the alibi clear, uh, confirmed with Kurumi? What's the matter? This is really the case, right? We don't know where the flash child. Okay, okay. okay where where the fuck are we going then? We we went to to the labs. We went to the room. We went to the swimming pool. Did I miss something in there? Oh, there's something to do here. Oh, Karumi, uh, Karumi's here too. Hmm. Huh, what are you doing here, Karumi? Do you agree? We all agreed to investigate with at least one other person present, yes? As she spoke, she glanced toward Maki. Hmm. Ah, uh, so you're staying with Maki. Got it. That's good thinking. Hey, once we're done with the trial, can I get a May massage? I? But of course, since you are here, Suichi, may I ask you a question? The time of death was not provided, so I am questioning everyone in order to determine it. What do you think? When was the last time you saw Ryoma alive? Uh, right um, before I was kidnapped by Gonta yesterday, around 6 in the evening. So... Last time I saw him was way before then. I didn't see him at all yesterday, actually. Then? Then you are fine, Kaito. What's important is the last time someone witnessed him alive. Hey! Face from this angle is very similar to Kaido's face from this, from this angle. The last time someone witnessed Ryoma alive, Gonta was the last one to see him alive at around 8 p.m. yesterday. Ryoma managed to avoid being captured by using, by him by using uh, Sukichi method. So Ryoma was still running around after I got captured. Yes, of course. Furthermore, 30 minutes earlier, Miyu saw Ryoma as she was fleeing from Gonta. Hmm. In that case, Gonta's testimony is highly credible. Yes, yes we. We at least know that Ryoma was alive yesterday until around 8 p.m. Okay, can you confirm that you were hanging out with, with the kid? That is correct. No? Yes, okay. of course. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. I suppose so. Yes, that's it. I guess we'll confirm it during the trial. That's fine. Hey! Maki, what do you what are you doing here? Um. Earlier you said you weren't going to help us investigate. Were you serious? Were so you serious what? about that? You'll be fine, even if I don't help, right? You're the de you're the detective, not me. Or do you think you can't solve this case on your uh, own? Um, That's completely different. This is. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty harsh. But my sidekick is working his ass off. Huh? Sidekick. Got it. Yep. Sushi's my sidekick now. Hey. Shouldn't it be the other way around? The dumb one should be the sidekick? So... The, the dumb one. I'm more of a scientist type of guy, so this stuff really isn't my thing. Well, wouldn't be, Wouldn't being a scientist be helpful for an investigation? You know, more importantly, why have you been here the whole time? Is there a reason? My guide, no. Why do you care? No. Because it's been bothering me. You've been in here ever since this room, this room opened up. Almost as if you're keeping watch, making sure no one else enters. I don't understand. Is this an interrogation? No. Ah, uh, no. That's not what I'm trying to do. I just want to want you to want you to talk to me, Maki. If this has nothing to do with the case, please tell me so. Hey. It's true that you don't have to help us if you don't want to. Is that all right? But you should at least cooperate with our investigation. Because. Because all of our lives are on the line. Is that so? Even if I did cooperate, I wouldn't be any help. Mostly because I've been in here for the last several days. I've only gone back to my dorm at night to shower, including last night. Hey! And then I can ask you this. Did you see Gonta at all last night? 
Gonto was searching the grounds last night trying to capture all of us. Why? How were you able to avoid being caught? I see. Gonta did stop by, but I managed to chase him off somehow. Like, what, what the fuck is in this room? Are you like the ultimate torturer? Like, what the fuck is in here? All I did was tell him, <sighs> if you lay a hand on me, you'll choke to death on your own tongue. That's all. Yeah, okay. Hmm. So Gonta got scared off by that. Well, I guess he would hold back against a girl. As I listened to Maki's testimony, a question grew in my mind. Why did Maki not want to leave so badly? What reason did she have for that? Hey. Are we done here? You're wasting your time talking to me. I don't know anything. Ah. Oh, the pout! Okay, I'm done here. Huh? huh? You are? That's right. Well, her alibi is a little shaky, but I don't think she killed Ryoma. That's what my inst instincts are telling me. Hey, so... But if you remember anything, be sure to tell Sushi, okay? I believe in you! He's my psychic, you know. He's pretty good. In the end, the only thing we were able to get out of Maki was that she was here the whole time. But no one else can verify that testimony. That might be a problem later. Macula. Already tired of investigating? Oh, you've been tired of it for a while now? Well, that's how it goes. Investigations aren't all that fun, you see. But it's a necessary step before we can move on to the main event. Kind of like searching the internet for that perfect porno video. Relatable hashtag. In fact, some people think the search is the best part. Weird, huh? Anyway, the class trial is starting soon. Please gather at the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. <laughs> See you later. Shuichi. Looks like it's time, bro. You know it, bro. Uh, okay. Yeah. Dumbass. Hey, why do you look so worried Don't now? Don't worry about it. Don't worry, you can do it. I believe in you. Believe in me? Why? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaido? There's a chance that I'm the Idiot. cult. Idiot. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than huh? that? What? Listen up. Isn't that why you believed in Katie? I mean, sure. I might get betrayed in the end, but... I believe in you. If I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. Shuichi. Shuichi. We're still young. I can't die before I've had my first drink or gone to space. Let's do it. If you're not going to get yourself in gear now, then when? Now is all you've got. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, Kaido, I know. Keep your chin up. Yeah, that's the expression I wanted to see. Heh, <laughs> that's my sidekick. He's right. I just have to do it. I have to believe in myself. I have to believe that I can do this. I have to believe I can get away with murder. I'm going to survive. We're going to survive together, but just me, That's though. It. Maybe I don't really understand it. Maybe I don't have a reason. But I'm going to carry you all with me. I don't want to live. I want to die with everyone else. No, I want to live. I want to live a long life. I don't want to die. I can't die in a place like this. Never. You're everywhere I go, bro. You're my whole world, bro. Who's over there? Bit of a bump, 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 b
so stupid. Should we get to level 50 before the trial? Okay, so we're gonna end uh, probably a little early, but it depends on how long fan art goes. Uh, so I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna get to the trial intro, and then we'll look at fan art, and then we will end the stream, and tomorrow will be the trial. Um, I always wanted the investigation, oh, sorry, I wanted the investigation to be with the trial together, but apparently that's just not gonna happen because of the timing of how everything happened. Yeah. Oh well. So, get any fan art ready if there is any to, to link. Uh, I don't know if there is. Uh, if any, if, if one person could uh, could have like it all in one line, so I could just click on it all, that that would be fantastic. High five, Mary Loop, bro, 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 bro. All right. Whoa, dizzy now. Everyone! Not, not like we have choice, right? Hehe, <laughs> you are quick to understand. It's as though Monokuma has you trained. What? You got nothing to worry about, right, assholes? We'll figure out the culprit, won't we? Don't worry. Of course, we don't need to worry. The top suspect is super obvious this time, hey. right, Himiko? How dare you bully Himiko, you degenerate. You want me to do you want me to Akito chop your head off, huh? Wait. Two most obvious suspects are uh Himiko and Angie, so it's probably not them. That's not even Akito anymore, is Either it? Either way. This matter will be discussed in due time. You should save your arguments until That's then. That's right. Yeah, let's put an end to this at the clash trial. You're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Certainly. Himiko's so suspicious he's got to be a red herring, right? But I don't even know where to start around the <gasps> truth. Ah, uh, I should have played more point-and-click adventure games. Should have worked on getting a fucking personality. Uh, right. This case will be so easy, especially with how obvious the top suspect is. Right, Himiko? Mm -hmm. I hear males pick on girls they like to get their attention, which means Kochi... Kochiki must like Himiko. Oh. <gasps> Kochiki likes Himiko. Huh? How'd you know? <laughs> Actually, why don't we focus on the class trial and save that conversation for later? Nihihi, <laughs> this is turning out to be not so boring after all. <laughs> Gone to not, not want to success friends. Oh, that was a line. Okay. Yeah, we have nothing to worry about. Atua is watching Atua over us. sees all. His divine deduction will solve this mystery right away. Hey! Hey, Detective Dumbass. Damn, how did you know my real name? You pinpointed a possible culprit, right? Listen up. Suichi, before we head over there, let me give you some advice. Here at a sidekick, if you want to give up, wait until you've done everything. Wait until after you've done everything you possibly of can. Course. Wait, no, that's still that's still no good. Okay, I won't forgive you if you give up. You got okay. it. Okay. Yeah, got it, Kaido. Thanks for the fucking you know motivational speech. He's right. I can't give up. I made a promise to Katie. A murderous promise. Say. This murder was also triggered by Monokuma's motive, was it not? Which means there is a reason the culprit was desperate to live. Yes. And Ryoma, who became the victim, had no reason to live, correct? What are you if implying? So. To kill because you have a reason to live. To die because you have no reason to live. Which, I wonder, is correct. Jeez. You're thinking too hard about it. Living things living things just gotta live. Anyway, no matter what happens to us, we gotta live. Right? Yeah, you don't really need a reason to live. That's just the icing on the cake. A reason to live. A reason to kill. A reason to die. A deadly reason. Well, a deadly trial. Sorry, but I don't know anything. If you think a child caregiver can help solve a murder case, then we're all in trouble. 
Do you agree? This matter will be discussed in due time. We should save our arguments until then. I did, not I did not calculate that we would gather he here under these circumstances again. What would Katie say if she saw us right now? No. Himiko is not the culprit. No way, no how. I know Himiko better than anyone. I know all her secrets. I know her gender, her hair color, even her height. Damn. No, these are secrets. Alright. <laughs> really? This whole thing is shaking like a big old vibrator. Uh, Himiko scared, poor little thing. Uh, <laughs> this vibration is so per perfect. Who huh. quit looking at Himiko like some kind of degenerate male? Alright. Rumble, rumble, rumble. I don't want to leave the Congo. Who keeps making these cups? <sighs> the door appeared before us with pomp as if sending heroes off to war. After a pause, we all stepped toward the door. Dun, 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 dun. We were silent. All I could hear was our unsteady breathing just as we passed through the door. Started up again. Normally, I wouldn't mind the shaking, but I'm feeling especially sensitive to it now. Actually, after comments that Miyu made, each of us felt that trembling through our entire bodies as we sank further still. Without sure footing, I'm positive I would have fallen as well. My breathing was becoming more ragged. My heart pounded harder and harder. Just when I thought I would pass out from the nerves. The elevator came to a stop, but this wasn't the end now. It was only just beginning. Welcome! Welcome, you've hopelessly arrived once again. Hmm, did you want to come here again because of how wonderful it is? Isn't it wonderful? I put so much effort into building this place. It should be a monument. Aww. Actually, we're the ones who use the exosols to build this courtroom, but Father just took all the credit. Wonderful. But I am happy to be used as a slave by Father. What are you saying? You idiots are really committed, committing to this henchman bit. They are so cute. You guys are just so cute that I can't help working you to the bone. <laughs> you put a lot of elaborate detail into this courtroom, almost like it's for show. Because it's a game. Oh? For show, huh? That's an interesting way to put it. Hmm? Is this, did I read his line as, as Monokuma? My bad. Is this just for show? Are you showing this to the people outside? And <laughs> -hoo -hoo. those people aren't with us, so you don't need to worry about them. Get it? They're not with us, as in they're no longer with us. You know what hey, I mean? Um... In other words, you 13 are the only ones left in the world. Now show me just how you intend to bargain for your lives. <laughs> <laughs> Then the clash trial began. Oh, Kyoko's music! <laughs> Ryo Mohashi, the ultimate tennis pro. After falling from his former glory, he told us he had no reason to live. But even so, he said he wanted to fight beside us to gather here with us. And now he's sleeping with the fishes. For that, he was trying to find a reason to live. He might have, might have been a little stern, but he wasn't a cold man at all. And the person who killed him is here right now. I want to believe that's a lie. I don't want to believe it at all. But if this is where I find the truth, I won't avert my, avert my eyes anymore. This is the wish you entrusted to me. I will find the truth to get out of here with everyone alive. I'm going to survive. I can't die here in order to keep my promise to her. I will fight. I will fight for my life in this trial of truth and lies. Bam! <laughs>
Tragedy strikes during Himiko's magic show, and Ryoma is killed. Suichi must now complete the new trial to fulfill Katie's wish. Damn, wish rhymes with fish. So it's not Katie's wish, it's Katie's fish. It was Katie again. Oh shit! It makes sense! Alright, thank you, uh, we link. I think I have it all. Why is it funny? Why is Pickle Nagito funny? I don't understand why I laugh at it. I don't know why it's funny. Okay, first of all, we have, because uh, he's the ultimate astronaut, Worth a Moon. Hey, Worth a Moon. Pretty good. I like it. It's cute. Hey, Worth a Moon. I like Best Boy. He's pretty good. He's a little dumb, though, for an astronaut, but he's pretty good. Okay, we'll say we'll we'll save the one th that one that I was talking about for last, um, because it's just so fucking stupid. But there's another pickle of pickle Nagito one. I saw this one second, so I was already laughing at pickle Nagito. There's waifu Joe with uh, pickle Nagito. Uh, the, the implications of this are, are 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 a bit unsettling, but there we go. There's waifu Dragon Joe with uh, with pickle Nagito. <laughs> just a look on his face. <laughs> you know what? Why it's funny? Because it kind of fits. I don't like the, the face and the hair. It kind of fits the pickle. I, I, I maybe that's why it's funny. It's just so fucking ridiculous. It's like, oh, Hajime, I'm a pickle now. And you'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, it fits. What are you talking about? Leon Kawada smashes his way into Smash Ultimate. 11037. Leon! I think he should have a space in, in, in Smash. Meanwhile, at Danganronpa Studios. All right, this is our new big game. We need a very efficient and logical way to create the character's ultimates. I hope we can find a way and achieve great results. Meanwhile, at development. <laughs> okay, let's read these. Ultimate Fortnite Dancer, Ultimate Stunt Double, Ultimate Gambling Master, Ultimate Hipster- Hey, Ultimate Stunt Double sounds pretty good, actually. Ultimate Jazz Drummer, Ultimate Beekeeper, Ultimate Weeb, Ultimate Parkour Trainer, Ultimate Comedian, Ultimate Spanish Teacher. <laughs> okay, Ultimate Stunt Double and Ultimate Beekeeper sound legit. I, I, I think those could actually be in a Danganronpa game. <laughs> For real. Uh, okay, and, and here and here's the first pickle Nagito one that I saw. Which... <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Why do we have fucking fucking pickled Nagita, man? What the hell? What the hell? Oh man. All right, let's uh let's do a love key and then we'll end. Oh, I can't, I can't load. Okay, time to begin the class trial and then load it. If it doesn't let me, we're just gonna stop. Himoko, we already had Himoko, it's already happened. Time to eat bread directly from the bag with nothing on it. Here we go. Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal, like some shared fantasy. What kind of fantasy does Sumugi have? Hey, Suichi. <laughs> uh, um, Suichi? What's wrong? Hmm? Would you prefer I called you Big Brother? What's wrong with anime, man? Well, I don't wanna. You don't wanna call me little sister, do you, Sweet C? Big brother, little sister. Uh, what is going on Jeez. here? Don't be nervous. I'll still call you big brother in front of mom and dad. If they found out about us, I wouldn't be able to be with you. Uh, it's just like some story from a light novel. Our parents remarried and I got a brother and I fell in love with him. Huh? What? Actually... I never thought that plain old me would be in such a flashy role. It's perfect, just like the big brother root in a dating sim. Or I guess it's more like the, s the little sister root for you, huh, Sweet C? I see, so that's where what's going on. It fits Sumugi, but it's a little heavy, is it? Oh my! But I don't like you just because you're my big brother, Sweet C. Falling in love with someone who just happened to be your sibling. It's a popular cliche, but to think I'd end up experiencing it myself. That's... Sumugi. <sighs> Please, uh, don't call me that, sweet C. Sweet she. If we're lovers, we should have nicknames for each other, right? Sorry. Ah, uh, sorry. Huh? No, I'm sorry. I feel off today. It's plain to see I'm being negative. What's gotten into uh. me? Times like this, I need you to cheer me up, sweet she. Hmm. Cheer you up, how? What? Huh? Don't ask me. I don't have enough experience in this sort of thing. Um. Um, so how about you put your hand on my cheek? Oh, you fucking slut. Uh, okay. Uh, all right, I can do that. Just as I was told, I cupped Sumigi's cheek in my palm. Sumigi sighed and recovered my hand with hers. Ah, uh, ah, uh, this is so embarrassing. Ah. Uh. Sumigi released a deep breath and watched me closely through her glasses. It was such a seductive gaze, I almost forgot to breathe. Hey. What's next, holding hands? In both hands? Your hands are surprisingly big, sweet she. Oh, the better to hold you with, my uh, dear. Ah, um, uh, you think so? What's wrong? Hmm? What's wrong? It's plain to see you're embarrassed. Well... It's just that, when you say things like that, it feels as though we're real lovers. Aww. You don't think we're real lovers? Sumigi's countenance shifted to a look of foul scorn. Like I thought. So you can't see me as anything more than your little sister? Are you just humoring your silly little sister by pretending to be her lover? No. No, that's not it. Because if you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. Sumigi's expression was inscru inscrutable. Inscrutable? Inscrutable. She pulled my hand off her cheek. Which cheek then? Ugh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm. S Slid my finger into her mouth and started sucking it. Wait. Whoa, what are you doing? I lost my composure completely and yanked my finger from her mouth. <laughs> We're going full Doki Doki. Full Doki Doki, here we go. 
I try not to think about the fading warmth, the saliva cooling as it dried. Lingering. Ah, uh, was, was that, that... a little too bold? But if I didn't take it that far, you wouldn't realize. Realize what? I want you to make me your real lover. W what? I want to become one with you. I want us to feel everything together. She batted her eyelashes at me in a way that was impossible to misinterpret. It was fucking terrifying. Her eyes, her lips, her body, they begged me to take her. I like you, sweetie. Aw, oh, we're in like with each other. If I ignored these feelings just because we're siblings, I'd regret it the rest of my life. That's how much I like you. Her, li her lips a smile, she sauntered toward me. She spoke slowly, letting every syllable sink in. I love you, sweet cheek. Oh, damn, that was fast. That escalated. I felt like her voice had wrapped around my brain, caressing it. I couldn't help it. She had me. And then... rape. dun 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 all right, thanks everybody. See you tomorrow for the trial. Uh, thank you, Professor Apprentice Plesium, for the new sub. I've said your name before. You must have been with some bits or my list is bugged. Thank you very much. Welcome to Dragon's Den, Professor Appre Apprentice Plesium. Thank you, thank you. You also gave some bits to say since we're ending early today. Why not open up some loot boxes? I mean, use some love keys. Oh, we just use one. That's it. We'll just use the one for now. We'll, uh,. We'll, uh, you know, ration it out. Action Cater, I love reading spoiler chat where certain people are going. I can't believe he hasn't solved it yet. It's a bunch of people literally going, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Uh, Luca Master has said, it seems someone killed killed the midget. Damn. It was probably uh, K-Dead. Katie dead And cheer for making that Spice Girls joke. I don't know. I'm trying to be engaged in the mystery, guys, but I'm not really feeling it that much. I'm sorry. I'm trying, but there's... I'm I'm really not thinking as as hard at it as I used to. I, I'm just I'm just not that invested anymore. Sorry, I'm still enjoying the game, but um, and I said I would. I said I still would enjoy the game, um, but you know, uh, the the murder mysteries are are pretty down right now. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, I can pull it back. I'm trying though. I really am. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. But yeah, we'll see. Anyway, uh, I'll see you tomorrow for the for the trial. Uh, usually the trials are entertaining no matter what. Even the worst trials have had some entertaining moments. So, there'll, there'll be some fun. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye-bye.